Uh, yeah. And then psychic power. I'm gonna take Fistagor or um, is it Fistagor? What's it called? You got one one weird boy. Yeah, one weird boy, and it's gonna be the one that gives a character plus two strength, plus two attack. Oh yeah. Oh, which side did you pick, by the way? Deployment zone. Um. Is is it just like rune, rune, rune? Yeah. So I think you get cover if you're up here. Yeah. For um, infantry, obviously. But like you know, nobody's standing on top of these things. So grotesque to cover if they're up there too. Uh, infantry. In their infantry. Grotesque or infantry, yeah. Well, then they get covered. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're not going up here, though? Impossible? No. Because cool. it's obviously more It just makes it really weird. Clunky. And yeah. here, too? It just, uh, yeah. N not up here? Not up there, yeah. Sweet. It just, um, yeah. like, Sigmar accounts for it a little bit with the fact that you can just pretend you're on the side of the building. <laughs> which is kind of stupid, but anyway. Yeah. It accounts yeah. for it. It um, is Fistigorch. But I remember it, right? 40k just totally doesn't account for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I'll take this side. Okay. And do you? So is it we both deploy, like alternate, or how? Is yeah. It? So the hasn't changed. Okay. So. Because it's not a chapter approved mission. Yeah. No, it's I see mission. Yeah. It's actually pretty fun. I went to the sequence chapter approved. Oh yeah. How did that go? I played Chris in the finals. How'd that go? Oh, you played Chris in the finals. Yeah, we tied. And then <laughs> he worked on orc violence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he had the like Ludo list with everything, and I ran this pretty much same list. Nice, nice. Yeah, and it was actually a really, really interesting game. I had to play like super cagey with my bikes, and just like I have a stratagem also that I can move my bikes after I shoot. So I can just move, shoot, move. One CP. So I pretty much like move, shot, move, and just like picked up squads of 30 boys because he had like 90 boys to my 30. Yeah, so that is a 12 inch line. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so it's really, it's easy, it's really easy on, on, on this mat. Heck yeah. All the maths should be like that, but anyway. yeah, really, there should be some kind of artifact that just makes it easy to measure deployment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So I guess I'll, I deploy first, right? So yeah, what's your um, what's your approach to this game? Approach to the game. Um, I'm gonna have to try to kite the Talos and engage them one at a time. Try to actually get in combat with my battle wagons because they do tons of damage. Strength eight, AP minus two, two damage, hit on twos. This one has six plus D six attacks. This one doesn't. This is the better one. Um, they hit on gonna, twos? Hmm? They hit on twos? Hit on twos, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because with their death rolls, it gets plus three to hit. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, and their strength eight, AP minus two, two damage. So they're really good, so hopefully I can knock it shot by Haywire. Okay. Cool. Bring them in and engage, That's and then good to know. try to harass your Ravagers with my planes. Maybe move block your Grotesques a little bit. Try to use the Claw Boss to punk a unit of Talos. And maybe if he dies, I'll spend TCP to have him fight again, too. Um, probably gonna cast Fist of Gork on this guy so I can be wounding stuff on threes and he gets rerolls to wound. Um, and then try to play really safe with my boys and not get them punked by a unit of Talos too early. Yeah. Okay. Just try to poke a bit and then use my bikes to hit somewhere hard and try cool. to spread you out. Yeah, my, my approach point. is really to, I don't need to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, I, you have to come to me, so I'll let you come to me. And I really don't know what to vect because I'm just used to vecting more DACA or, or Grush Shield. <laughs> so I don't know. If something seems important, I'll just I'll vect it, or maybe I won't even vect anything. I don't know. See how it plays yeah. out. I'm, I'm going to try to make you really decide hard on vect. Yeah, there's not a huge number of other stratagems, to be honest. Yeah. So, I mean, the green tide one is obviously a yeah. easy Yeah, so vector. I got lucky. I got all the CP I spent pregame back. So, yeah. um, and then I'll just keep the mission in mind. You know, I got to kill certain things. And yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. Well, welcome people who are watching. Uh, What's happening? This is a Orcs versus Drukhari, 1750 ITC Mission 3. We are playing a practice game for Peyton here. He's uh, got a tournament in a couple of weeks. Um, and so he's bringing his current iteration of Orcs against my Dark Kin list. So uh, we're just, uh, he's going to be, is Don of War, he's on the top of your screen, I'm at the bottom. We're about to start deploying. Um, where's the score sheet? Okay, so secondary, so you can find the lists. Um, the lists are actually in the panels below your screen, They're my list and Peyton's list. The only thing not there is that I've, uh, he's spent two CP on the... Um, one CP uh, on Cult of Speed, cult and then of speed one yeah. CP on an extra relic. Yeah, Cult of Speed, um, Vigilist Detachment, and I spent a CP on Alliance of Agony, an extra relic, and I got my two CP back from the um, 
do soothsayer world of trade so i'm even at nine um cool what else do we need to let people know okay so secondary so i picked uh reaper and uh, mark for death on the boys the knob bike unit and the two battle wagons um and uh slave and um um warlord king slayer on his warlord who is the war bike war boss on the bike and and then uh peyton picked recon marked for death on all three ravagers and grot unit which has the blue stuff on the top you can't really see but and then uh, old school i deployed a brave unit of grots over there a brave brave on sir you. robin okay and the bone this is excess control so the bonus is holding all four all four yeah yeah uh what do you have that's obsec just the racks uh, racks, yep, that's cool. it. The bravest grots in the galaxy. Are we putting this as three inches down? Sure, just make it easy. Yeah, yeah same with this. Just keep it simple. Same with that thing. Yeah. yeah. So we can go up here? Or up yeah, I think you can go up there. Up here? Sure. I mean, I don't probably. Yeah, know. it's just so there's like, like most things can't even move that far. So <laughs> no. It, it becomes stupid. Yeah, it does kind of become stupid. I mean, jump imagery, but. Oh yeah, and each battle wagon has a ten man squad of boys. Okay. Okay, you know the racks going in over here. One v one me bro. Racks on grots. Let's go. <laughs> Put another unit grots right over here. Sacrifice himself, DOE, for the Emperor. No. Check out. Back to you. You know, racks on this thing. Fun, fun. So, what are the range on your disintegrators? 36. 36. Some juicy. Nine shots each? Yeah, sorry, Cap Capone. I gotta figure out how to do the secondaries on the overlay. The problem is that we don't always play ITC, and so it's not always useful space. Maybe I'll put it in a panel below uh, where I put the lists. So we'll figure that out. Put some grots back here. All right, put a unit of racks up here. I gotta deploy something real. So. We had a, in my last game with jets, we had a question. Do you measure from the wing of the jet or from the base? You always measure from base for everything. For everything. The only thing you do from the model is line of sight. Line of sight. So I can put this guy way back in here? Yes, you can, yeah. Well, that's perfect. I'm gonna just hug this little light pool. Oh, hello, good sir. You're strength five, right, on the singers? Rafter one. Down under network, hello. Hello, nurse. Uh, Ravagers are strength five, yeah. So my, my, he's very fast in his Dawn of War, which favors all his double moving, double advancing, advance and charge bikes and not, and wagons and all that stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make a little castle. That's what I'm trying to do, and then survive hopefully, and then push out from there. So my falcon punch. Uh, um, how many drops you got? You can put guys in the battle wagons, yep. I guess. And I might put the weird boy in the battle wagon too. Okay. Or my drops. So you probably have less drops than me. Probably I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. maybe nine more. Second ravager. I'm just going to pre-measure this. Hey, game. Karen, I should be practicing EC. I don't need to practice EDC, man. I'm good to go. <laughs> Let's go, Orcs. Tristan Gray, welcome. Scary, the man himself. The oh, I feel the pressure guy. on me now. Uh-oh. I feel the pressure. Uh-oh, what's happening? I can't let the Archon down. What are objectives? They are made of mouse mats. You can get them at Dream T. Uh, if you just Google Can Hammer Objectives Dream T, G D R E A M T E E, you can buy them. How far do you Talos move? T 
Tails eight. move eight, I believe. And what's our haywire goodness? Haywire is 24 inches. 24. Nowhere to hide today. Nasty, nasty. So it's a 32 inch threat range. Green tea skulls. Do, 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 do. You are thirsty. Yeah, I'm just drinking water tonight. I usually tell people what I'm drinking, usually something cool. <laughs> but tonight I'm just drinking water. And I, got, I got a nice tea. Yorkshire tea from the uh, spa Yorkshire. town of Harrogate, where I used to visit all the time. My goodness. Kieran Gibb, thank you for subscribing. Delicious English breakfast. I'll give you a free can hammer dice this weekend. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Do I owe you a drop now? Uh, no, I'm gonna oh, okay. I'm gonna put some knob bikers. Uh, so I can move around all this stuff here. It's, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bikes can just drive around wherever they want. Yeah. Wherever they please. All right. We're gonna go head over here. Yeah, Scary. We need to work out a way where you guys can commentate on the game as we play it, instead of listening to me ramble on. Um, so, uh, that would be cool. I got asked, like, the long war guys are doing that, so I got to figure out how to do that. Not bikers right there. Okay. Ravager's here. Oh! Look at this fresh drop. Um, not really new ones, Karen. Just, uh, you know, these ones. Normal ones. You know. We'll commit the unit boys to right here. All right. 30 man boys are committed. So just let the audience know why you decided to put your bikers on that side and your boys over here. Uh, I decided to put my bikers over there because I'm going to be kind of playing reserve with them and try to kind of sweep into his backfield. Okay. Being that he's deployed the Ravagers over there, I think he's going to kind of castle in that corner. So I'm going to try to use the bikes to sweep the backfield and clear out the racks so we won't be able to hold the objectives later in the game. Okay. That's a good plan. Yeah. Being able to double move with the bikes is pretty good. And I still have two characters I can deploy near the bikes to let them advance and charge. Yeah, I think they're so fast that you can deploy them anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Or force a vec out of you, at least. But once you vec, then I can decide whether I want to move and charge or just kind of play safe with them and shoot. The yeah. bikes shoot a lot. The bikes shoot six shots each, strength five. But they're, they're pretty good, you know? So everybody in the chat, the, you can see the lists down underneath your screen there. There's a new little widget I'm trying out to put lists on stream because that's the most common question on a stream and it's really difficult. Uh, okay. Yep. So we'll commit the boys there. All right, put some grots. Grotesques, not grots. I got grots, come on. <laughs> And grots are toughness six when they're near homunculus? Uh, grots are six okay. and talos are seven. Yeah, the tasty toughness seven. There you go, it's one unit of grots. Nice. How far do grots move? Uh, six. Okay. You're asking me all these hard questions. I man. know, I'm making your life hard. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, Derek. Seven, hey. Ooh. War Machine, welcome. Thank you, it's not my widget, it's just a text box that comes with Twitch. <laughs> but I thought, well, what better thing to use for text box than a block of text? So um, that's where that idea came from. Now I just gotta figure out how to do the secondaries. Right now I'm trying to decide where I want this battle wagon. Yeah, so where do you want this battle wagon? I, I want it far away from your haywire is where I want it, you know? Okay, but uh, not too far. I don't think there's too many options to go far. Go here, go here. Haywire is very scary versus uh, tough, toughness eight battle wagons. You know, haywire, haywire doesn't doesn't care. Um. Thank you, War Machine. I'm pretty excited too. I decided not to film this for a bat rep, so that I could just be in the moment and enjoy the stream and talking to y'all people. As uh, you, m many of you may be aware, we streamed the second part of the second stream on Charity Hammer last weekend, and we didn't get close to 5,500 views like the first stream, but uh, we did gain a lot of followers as a result of that stream, and 
So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll have a more Perfect. vibrant uh, experience these days. Put the weird boy in here too, as long as... All right, so you got the weird boy in that... In the battle wagon. Battle wagon. Okay, what's the difference between the battle wagon and that other one? So this is a bone breaker battle wagon. So I get an extra D6 attacks on the charge. D6 attacks. Yeah, so full strength, it's six plus D6 attacks. Oh, okay, wow. So it's pretty nasty. It is pretty nasty. So you know, maybe they'll be coming at you turn one hard, but we'll see. We shall see. You got a lot of punchy stuff over there. What's the melee on the grotesques like? Um, Combat effectiveness. Decent to to very decent. <laughs> four attacks each. Decent to very decent. Uh, four attacks each. Scary says very good, I'm guessing. Yeah, hitting on threes. <laughs> uh, they got flesh gauntlets and monstrous cleavers. What's the cleaver? Uh, so against vehicles, six plus does mortals. Okay. And the cleaver, it makes an extra attack. And uh, it's just uh, strength users, so five or six with urine around. Uh, yeah. Minus two, one damage. Okay. Pretty nasty stuff. Uh, so you put the other unit grotesque there? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, your stuff shoots 36. I'm going to play it safe at this plane. Put it back here. What's the toughness of a uh, Rax? Toughness of Rax? Five. Five. Right. Yeah, thanks, War Machine. Our, um, you know, I've invested quite a lot on making the stream as good as possible. And that's and why it's beautiful. Including really expensive wireless mics. So uh, <laughs> if the mics bug out because sometimes they run out of batteries, just let us know. We can change batteries. Um, okay, I owe you drop. Okay, Archon's going down here. Oh, guess guess what? Archon reroll ones in the house. You have anything I can snipe characters? Do I have anything? Yeah. No. Do you have anything? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I say that, but planes snipe characters every single game. Oh yeah, but you have to be able to land close to me. I do. Yes. Yeah. But I, for some reason, people forget that planes are pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go war boss and bike right there. I have two more drops. Okay, I'm gonna put Yuri in here. Earthrin. I'm going to. The rest of my drops don't really uh, get influenced by you, so I'll, yep. just put, I'll just put them down for speed. Sure. Um, All right. I'm gonna put. You have nothing that can target characters. Um, I'm gonna put my war trike kind of here. All right, there's my little uh, dark kin castle. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that charity hammer. It was quite the spectacle. We had a couple Canadians down there representing. So if you're on tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Canhammer TV will be interviewing Jim Diesel and uh, Alex McDougal and talking all about their experience at Charity Hammer. So uh, join us tomorrow night if you want to hear all about it from the inside. Mm -hmm. That's all me. Ready to get this show on the road? Okay, so we're finished deploying. Um, you got the plus one, right? I got the plus one. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So here we go. And six for Can Hammer, and it's a tie. Six for me, too. Four, and Five. you win. So would you like to go first or second? So now comes the big decision time. Yeah, and explain why you make this decision. Uh, yeah, that's that's the real thing. So racks move how, or grotesques move how far? Grotesques move uh, seven. Move seven, and they can't advance and charge? Not as far as I know. Not as far as I know? All right. Um, so basically right now the thought process is if I'm taking first turn, I'll probably be able to come up there, clean out a couple units of racks maybe, and I'll be able to sit on some objective over here. I don't think he'll be able to really touch me on this objective. If I put my bikes there, make the minus one to hit, should be pretty safe. Uh, and then I might be able to kind of triangulate my DACA jets, focus fire on one of the Ravagers, and hopefully take that out uh, if I decide to take first turn. But then I'm not going to be in the driver's seat for the hold more. But the thing is that this is the only objective that we're 
really going to be fighting hard for. I'm pretty sure I can just move up my grots here and they're just going to hang out. Yeah, I, I think those that. two objectives were pretty safe till end game. So yeah. even if you're... And I can, yeah, I can auto advance able, this guy six inches yeah. so I can pretty much guarantee... You might be able to hold, uh, you know, hold on to a lead even if you end up, you know, everything dying. I wish yeah. you guys on stream could see this uh, scratch made war yeah. bike def trekka thing. He's, he's pretty, he's pretty scratch sweet. Scratch made, it's really sweet. I thought it was a GW model, it's so cool. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go first. You're gonna go first. All, all the debate and talk. I'll take first. Do you want to seize? Um, I'm not sure that there's too much point, except maybe I might be able to kill a jet. You'll be wounding him on. He's toughness six, so yeah, it's a little bit nice. I just have to shift up a tiny little bit, and I could shoot it. So now the decision's on you. Haha. <laughs> and my objective is Reaper. Kill the trucks, the boys, and the knobs, and Warlord. Hmm. I'm actually kind of against it. Recon. With um, this, the, well, how we've set up, and with my objectives, I'm a little bit against the wall, actually. Recon is all four table quarters? Something in every table quarter, yeah. At the end of my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so hitting on threes, reroll ones, nine shots, 27 shots. Do some math. 27 shots will hit. On fours? Like. 19, 20, 21 times with the rerolls. Oh, on fours, yeah. Because I'm minus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 14 with some rerolls, say 16, 17 hits. Wounding on fives with rerolls. Reroll wounds? Uh, he gives reroll ones to wound because of his uh, oh, I relic. Was, oh, his relic. The writ of the living muse. Okay. So that would then give me, like, <laughs> at best half. That's being generous. 12 so wounds. So nine. Five up info. Yeah, so then you'd save a third of those, so six, six time two. So there is a kill chance me. I could kill it. If, you, if, you, if statistics are, are true. There is a chance I could kill it and allow me to redo my deployment a little bit because I don't like it actually. So do you want to seize? And how far, so how far are these guys moving? They are moving, uh, I think, let me, let me pull her up real quick. So this guy's like 30 inches from the front of this thing. Yeah, um, battle wagons move 13 inches because they're evil sons. Yeah. And then they can advance and charge if they're near him. Yeah, they won't be able to come up here though. So no. That's okay. They're not sitting up there. And then the boys can, uh, oh, you didn't pick the jump, right? I did not take the jump. So no. they have to walk and they're, they're foot slogging and it. advance and charge. And yep. Okay, I think that's safe actually. It's pretty safe. I think you'll kill some racks. Maybe some ravagers. Let's see. Like the one rack poking Okay, his head all this may be academic, of course, if I don't yeah. <laughs> roll a C, so here we go. Here it goes. Okay, okay. all academic. All right, decision, good game, man. Decision made. Yeah, good luck, have fun. All right, turn one for orcs. Here we go. So, talk people through, man. Talk yeah. people through. So, starting off, orcs turn one. I'm going to try to pick up a Ravager with both my DAC jet shooting. I should be able to pick up a Ravager. Do they have a. What's their save? Uh, three up save, and they have six up inbound. Okay, so you'll be getting a five up versus my DAC jets. I'm uh, not six up involved. Um, feel no pain. Feel no pain. Yeah, I don't think the black heart involved. Yeah, black heart. All right. So the first question over here is: Do I want to go balls to the wall with my battle wagon and uh, war trike here, or just sit tight and hold some, get the hold more for? Well, a I turn? got the grots here to. Oh yeah, yeah. Cop yeah, on that, that one. That's true. Yeah. And I can also spend the two CP and move and advance these guys, but he's got vect, so you know, let's we'll see if we can force a vect out. Snoop Deville, welcome, welcome. Just checking this out. So that way, you can just move that far. Yeah, so just, uh, you know, I, I feel like I didn't deploy well for my mission, actually. I feel like I should have just deployed in the middle and take the heat and yeah. push out. I mean, you're, you're, you're all grotesque and stuff, or so tough. I'm going to yeah. try to overload a flank and then push into your yeah. whole army. I think I gave you three quarters of the table now for no reason. I, that's kind of what I feel. Yeah. But we'll yeah. see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully so, <laughs> we can retake it with the Archon watching. Yeah, so uh, the grotesque <laughs> move how far? Seven. Seven, and then charge 2d6. Okay, so I'm gonna try to move my battle wagon over here, get a turn one charge into there. They have how many ones each? Like one, I think. <laughs> one each? I okay. think they're just... So the two damage will be good versus feeling no pain. So that's the plan with the battle wagon. So I'm gonna advance this battle wagon. Bone breaker. Rolling the big one. Yeah, just one. One, so I get uh, plus two, so a 15 inch move. 
Yeah, so everything here is Evil Sun, so everything is getting a plus one to all the moves and advances and charges, yeah. so... So it looks like I might have to 3d6 charge that, unless I want to throw in my War Trike. Uh, so the um, big guys, how far do they shoot? Oh, are you measuring from the very front of the ram? Yeah, front okay. of the ram. Yeah, so you got like a 12-inch charge right now. <laughs> yeah, but I can spend 2 CP to charge it 3d6. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move in advance the war the knobs on bike. Let's see, my knob bikers are chewing over here, and they move 16 inches. That's pretty tasty. And then they advance. I think they should be able to get them. So knobs on bike are gonna advance. Big runs. Ooh, an extra three. It's 19. Seven. Twelve. Yeah, uh, I'm interested to see how this, what I'll call alternative orc list does with the big unit of bikers. Funnily enough, I just ran a uh, Ravenwing big unit of Black Knights the other day and was a little bit surprised, but not particularly surprised that <laughs> a little bit decent, decenter than before. <laughs> Still not great though, but um, so um, yeah, so this is uh, a alternative orc list no ludas to be seen no tank busters you know commandos all that usual stuff just one unit of boys <gasps> just one unit of boys no nah, three units of boys one unit of 30 boys apparently your advance gets extra movement so if your speed mob should be plus two yes you're right i should get one more inch yes because they're a speed freak yeah so uh war machine aligned to agony lets me give a warlock trait to a succubus and to a homunculus um so i gave the um soothsayer to my homunculus and that gives me d3 and i got my pre-game command points back so all right why not you give you a free reroll and some extra cp and advance this battle wagon extra six boom big old 19. yeah so it's not in the list but Peyton's using the um cult of speed cult of, cult speed. of speed vigilist detachment which we'll find out shortly what it does. <laughs> Can't say I read the Vigilist book too closely. It's fun. This battle wagon's gonna come up here. He's Obviously not, because I played my whole Ravenwing game and forgot to use any of the stratagems. <laughs> Grant's just gonna come <laughs> pop on this objective. Actually, yeah. Yeah, might as well. The brave Grotz. Might as well touch cover too. Bravest grots in the city. Brave, brave Sir Robin. So now the big decision is, do I want to charge into the racks of this guy? I think I might as well. So, my big old war trike. Where's he at? It's only my second time playing the war trike, so I gotta get used to all his rules. He's got a bunch of funky little rules. No worries, man. So he moves 16 base. 16. It's even faster than a jet bike. So yeah, he'll advance. An extra five inches. So that makes him. Moves 21 inches. Yeah. Boom. That's not bad. Coming to market for you? Sure, yeah. Right there. Tasty taste. Room. Boom. That guy's fast. Fast, fast little dude. Sam L's crying. Sam He's L. double crying because he thought he had the only jet bike in the Imperium and then all these custodies appeared. <laughs> <laughs> that was real sad right They're now. Like, sorry, dude, we had a whole bunch of this shit. All right, so now I got to figure out where I want to put my planes. I mean, my plane's sixty-one inches, so that's that's all right. Um, so average. If I was shooting you from here, yeah, like right here, would you get plus one cover? No, I'm not in you're, cover. You're not fifty percent obscured. That's no, but right. you have to be in cover and fifty percent obscured. Okay. Sweet. So I'm gonna just pre-measure thirty-six from this Ravager. I'm gonna just hold that on the Ravager somewhere. There. Uh, let's take it this way. Because I can measure one of sight from anywhere on the plane, correct? Yep. Okay. 
right there. Okay. So I'm basically going to focus fire both my jets onto that plane. Yep. Plenty of movement. So I'm flying one of my jets pretty fast, kind of limiting his movement. Okay, so Capone's saying you get plus two for Speed Freak, plus yep. one for Evil Suns. Yep. Your bikers and war trike get plus two to move and to advance. Yep. Which you did. Yep. yep. That's why there's moving 16, yep. plus two in the advance. You did that. Yes, I, I forgot it the first time I moved the knob bikers, but thanks for reminding me. They're they're very fast. That's just the way they roll. So um, Basically right now with my planes, I'm gonna kinda try to play reserved with them. And try not to get charged by Talos. That's pretty bad news for them. Uh, he's gonna actually have to go farther. Uh, and he's gonna pop his toe into this corner. It's more than half the model, right? Yeah, so here's the halfway line. Oh, for the table quarter? Yeah. Okay. So he'll come up to there. Ooh, then he'll get charged by Talos. Uh, so it's fine. I'll give that up. So I'm not going to get recon this turn. Because this table quarter is uh, kind of full of stuff that's going to It's a little me. bit dangerous. Yeah. So essentially, if I move my planes up there, they're, they're dead. So... All right. Just knocking my planes against each other. Just trying to get line of sight on that back Ravager. Looks juicy right there. And we're going to play uh, Operation uh, Run and Hide with uh, something else over here. Uh, this big mech will advance. Since I'm speed freak, we'll go three, so that's a four, so that's 21 inches. Oh, I forgot. Um, I'm going to use the um, prepare positions. Yeah, might as well. All right. Roll my. So I got it back. So I spent one. Okay. And that's my one for the round. Just making sure my big mix and range everybody here. Basically, turn one, it's going to be pretty slow on this side. So you still have the 11 CP? You didn't spend any, right? Uh, I sp yeah, I'm still at 11. Uh, I'm going to move and advance this guy. Extra two. All right. And what's the plan for your boys? That's what everybody wants to know. Everybody That's wants to know where the boys mind. are going. The boys are tactically retreating. Just, you know, they're going to hang out. They are shooter boys, but uh, if I get anywhere close to them, I'm going to die. And, you know, the shooters, the shooters are good versus, versus weak stuff, but he doesn't have too much weak stuff over there. So my 18-inch assault range is going to not really touch much, and if I move up, I'm just asking to get charged and die. So I think the boys are going to beat a hasty retreat. I'm going to move this war boss first, though. Right there. Big unit of boys is going to run and reposition. Extra What's two. the AP on the sh those super shooters on the jets? Minus one. Okay. Minus one, one damage. Okay, so that with prepare position, that would give me actually four up on the Ravagers, a three up save. Oh, really? Um, with the minus one? Minus one, so four up save. Yeah, yeah four up. I think that's worth doing for one CP. Yeah, I mean, now that you're old and got it back. <laughs> No, I was just thinking because, yeah, most of my stuff is just invulns, right? Yeah. With, like, six-up armor. Four, so four up invulns. So prepare position doesn't do, do much. Across the board, pretty much. Yeah, but... Uh, so I'm going to try to play a little safer this game. Last time I played Darren, I ran balls to walls as Tau and just got blown in crap. <laughs> uh, can we move up here? People still smarting from that. Uh, no, we decided not to play these two uh, platforms. This one, though? You can, play, you can move that one. Play that one? Okay. So the halfway line is where? This is the halfway line. Okay. The middle of that objective. So my brave Sir Grotz are, are not going to sacrifice themselves dearly. I'll just tuck back in. My brave Sir Grotz. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. 
So, uh, so you just decided to be pretty conservative with your boys. Yeah, I'm okay. quite conservative with the boys because uh, I know the Talos will pick up a unit of 30 boys easy in combat yeah, as well as their test. It's and one so, of my mark for death too. So. Yeah, so I'm going to try to kind of make them spread out is the main game plan here. If I engage that whole dirty flesh mob over there, I'm going to get just die. torn to shreds. And so, yeah, I'm trying to really play safe and not, not do that and kind of pick and choose my fights and hopefully get some damage in before I have to engage him in combat. So probably be turn two, three that I'll be looking to get into combat and then trying to really hit him hard with my vehicles and stuff. The main decision I'm thinking about right now is if I need to take this battle wagon in and charge those guys, I'll probably be sacrificing it versus the um, grotesques. So I think they'll both be able to charge in and pick them up. So I don't think I'll be doing that. I think I'm just going to focus on that small unit of racks over there and just pick them off and then take it from there. So uh, my psyker's in my vehicle, so no psychic phase. So I'm going to just go into shooting. Okay. And pretty much going to focus fire on that one Ravager. So I'm going to spend one CP to give my Dacajet plus one to hit. That'll be this first Dacajet. Okay, and then... Um so you just spent one. Do you want to vex it? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna make it minus one to hit. You're going to do that fun stuff. Okay. So I'll still be hitting on fours then. That's the first ravager, right? Yeah, that's this first okay. point and the first ravager. Okay, go for it. So hit on fours, sixes generate more. That's not not the greatest hit roll. One six. So, uh, you know, a, a solid a solid five hits. And then uh, wound on threes, toughness, or toughness six. Six, I think, yeah. So fours. So two wounds. Two wounds, minus one. one. Yep. So down four, prepare stratagem, it takes away your minus one, I guess. Yep. So on fours. Two Fill damage. Both. Two damage each? No, one damage each. Okay. Two flat. Sorry, these guys are awesome conversions, but a pain in the butt to play with. Uh, 10 wounds, so he left. Okay. So now, well, uh, that's, that's, so eight left? Yeah. Okay. And the other ones aren't minus one to hit them? No. And uh, measure range from the base still? Yep. So. It's always base. I can t touch any raptor uh, I want. But yeah, you can touch my, my hull you? because I'm a full, Yeah, full well, it's 36, I got a bunch more. Yeah. Range. Um, so the base decision now is do I want to shoot the Dagget at the other one? Oh, but this guy, you measured 36 to the front of this guy, right? Yeah, that, okay. was, that was the one that was had to shoot him. Oh, okay, anyway. okay, oh, yeah, 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 okay. This guy can shoot anyone yep. he wants. Yep, yep, um, And I measure wide of sight from here if I want? Yeah. Okay, so I could shoot the racks if I desire? You could. So, since I'm not going to be able to shoot really much else at the racks, let's see what my range of my death kill war trike is. Alright, my war trike's got some shotguns, which are pretty fun. But they're only eight inch or the twelve inch range. So I think I'll be out. Oh, I'll be just in the boomsticks on my racks. But I won't get the plus one to hit. Um So yeah, well we're going to shooting him. So he's got six shots with his boomsticks. There we go. This building is perfect. Look at that. For that. Get the beautiful dice tray up there. So I'm not within half range, so you'll just be hitting on fives, shooting the boomsticks into them and how are those racks all real close bunched up there yeah okay so how far is my charge i'm looking at like a four inch charge now so maybe i'll try to pick up a couple racks so i'm going to shoot my uh, vexator mask is here yep i don't think anyone's charging me this turn so so i'm going heavy flamer into that unit racks okay and then the boom sticks into the other guys okay boom sticks first five and sixes one more shot and then what's the toughness of a rack? Five. Five. I uh, know four because there's no uh, homunculus there. I uh, know Prophet Schism plus one. Prophet Schism invul, right? Extra invul? Sorry. It gives, them, it gives four up invul, I know, on the grotesque and towels. Uh, yeah, invul is increased, yeah. Okay. So the toughness four? So toughness four, yeah. Okay, wound on threes. One wound, no AP. One wound, no AP? Yep. Four up invul. Good. Love it. Uh, oh. D6 flamer hits. Against the other unit. Two. Uh, wound Move on three. the dice tray, you plebs. What do you mean? We put it right in the middle. One wound on the other unit. No AP. Okay. Oh, feeling pain? Six up. Ugh. One. 
Okay. The first rack is slain. First rack. So yeah, these bikes just kind of chilling. Chilling like a villain. 18 inch range isn't touching much. Nope. And I took took that guy away. Yep. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's fine. I, I knew they weren't going to be charging. I mean, you want to measure it? I think it'll be a 12. Maybe. Yeah, 11. 11? Okay. Yep. You can do it. You can do it. I can do it. I can do it. You know, I get that plus one. Uh, so the other DACA jet, um, and there's five, there's, yeah, still the five racks there. Yeah. So I think I'm not going to, hmm. Yeah, I'll shoot, I'll shoot the, Shoot the other Ravager. The second one? Yeah. Okay. The second one in. Okay. Um, just because I got to start poking those Ravagers down. I'll shoot the Ravagers. They'll shoot me. It'll be a happy little party. So hit on fours. Let's to generate more. Three more shots. There's a little, little bit of a hotter hit roll. And then wound on fours. Oh, Ooh, pretty good. Not that is. Eight wounds. All right, four ups. Uh, one more there. No, the three ups, right? Minus one. Four ups, because I'm minus one. But I use prepare positions. Mm -hmm. Aren't you four up space? Yeah. So you go minus one to three up, and then plus one to four up. Yeah, four up base, sorry, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four. Taking four. What did they bracket at? Uh, half, I presume. Okay. Yeah, so I need to do one, one more one, one more. more to it, yeah. Okay. Sadly wasn't able to bracket that, but that's we'll just roll with the punches. So I'll start um Yep, yeah, start charging. Oh, power from pain. Power from pain? Yeah, six up in falls. Feel no pains. None. No. Uh did you do them on the other ravager as well? No I didn't. So there's two? Nope. No power. Thank you, stream. <laughs> <laughs> Power with power from pain. Isn't All that? these Drukari pain people are cool. like, no, this guy, he's driving me crazy. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna charge the knob bikers into the small unit racks. Try to get them a little extra movement. Okay. Looking for a 10, because I get plus one. Okay. With the reroll. I'll choose to reroll one dice. Mm -hmm. Four up. Nope. Okay. Feel it. Um, is that, so this battle wing was 12 from the first guy, right? Yeah. So he's out. So I'll just do the. Well, you can, if you roll a 12, he's in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, no, no, you're out. No, yeah, yeah, he was just the 12 from the first. So this yeah, guy's yeah, yeah. in? Yeah. Yep. He's in. Um, yep. So he gets a 9 inch charge. Should be able to punk a couple of these guys. I'm going to try to get all the way around them. Something like that. That's uh, it for that's it for that. Okay. Uh, no other charges, eh? Yeah, just the one charge. Okay, you know? go for it. So he's got five attacks. Uh, he hits on threes, and he's okay. hitting at strength seven. So okay. he'll be wounded on threes. Okay. With a reroll. And he hits on twos with his weapon. Looking for twos here on the racks. Ooh, two ones. And looking for threes with reroll. You roll two. You got three wounds on the racks. Any AP? Uh, minus two. Oh, it doesn't two. matter, actually. Yep, four pin balls. Failed one. D3 damage. Doesn't matter, just one. Oh, yeah, yeah, for one. real. Six up. No. Yeah. Okay. Got one. Take this tutor. Dang, four up in balls. That's it? That's that's all for me. Hit, all right. hit me back. Here we go. My tutor's coming back. Hardest racks So, uh, two attacks each with the Ackle Fist. What a weird name. And uh, threes. Ooh, toughness seven. Toughness seven. Strength is homunculus tools. Poison. Um, not a vehicle, right? Uh, or yes, is he a vehicle. vehicle. Yep. Okay. So I don't know, like any sixes or something. Six for vehicle. Six. Yeah. Okay, one. One. AP. No AP. Four up pinball or four up armor. Nope. Takes one. Woohoo! Uh oh. Bring them down to seven. <laughs> Kill the rack, took a wound. It would take me a whole game to kill this thing with it's the rack. Really Hopefully you can kill him next turn, we'll see. All right, it's on to you. All right, uh, I lost two racks, so I don't need a leadership there. No, you're chilling. Uh, actually, uh, no, leadership eight for the Exodus. Okay, Great. so at the end of your turn, you hold, 
Yep. Uh, you didn't kill. Nope. And um, you didn't get recon. Nope. Or any of your things. Nope. Or old Not first strike. Okay, so just kill and hold. Pretty lackluster turn one, but it's right. really hard to pick up stuff first. The Two nothing for orcs. Tough guys. Jukari go turn one. Did you get my one CP spent? Uh, let get an extra one, so you got nine now? Yeah, or ten. It was the one for the Daka jet. Oh yeah, I got that one. Okay. Yeah, Let's you see. got ten, I got eight. Yep, ten, eight. All right, on you. Uh, no, I have six. Yeah, because I spent that extra two. Yeah, I decided to play it slow. See if it pays off. Missed okay. Two points, but... Okay, so what I need game. to do is Reaper, Boys, Trucks, and Knobs, and Warlord. So I can't really do any of those things right now. What's your Where's your Warlord? Right there. Um, so I'm just going to need to get onto this objective if I can, but I'm not sure that I can. So I'm probably going to lose hold more. And I might be able to get kill more. We'll see. Going on Jukari turn one. See how it goes. Okay, where's my little tape? So 36 inch range means I can pretty much shoot whoever you want. Anything. And Ravagers move. Uh, full strength 14. Speedy Ravagers. Okay, first I'm going to move these racks up. Racks, I assume, move seven. Okay, these racks are going to advance. 11 inches. So that's nine across. Two down. Okay. The big flesh guys are moving up. Kill advance as well. Ooh, I can move 13. That gives me Ooh. a lot of latitude. Going for that objective or not? So actually, so three down. Yep. Seems to be my 10. ten? Yeah. Okay. Getting that objective. So that gets me one dude on there. So I'll move these guys that way instead. A hot six inch roll to tie the hold. These guys will advance to five. Sweet. So I can move 12. Rut row. Got all the flesh coming at me. So yeah, when I'm going into combat, I'm going to really have to watch where the Vexator mask is. Does it work on any unit or only infantry? Uh, works on any unit. Any unit. So even my battle wagons are going to yeah. get vexed. So the homunculus force. So three down, eight across. Yep. Yeah, what I'm going to do then? I won't move so far. Okay. Don't want to overextend myself here. Keeping the grotesques a little bit chill. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can not get vexated, but it's pretty hard. Flesh wall is advanced. You're in. Yep. Poof. Poof. Where's where's my six inch runs? Come on. Someone's finger banging their mic. <laughs> all right. Probably all finger banging a little bit. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Uh, you like uh, that? Yeah, I like that. You like that, Karen? We're doing it just for you, man. <laughs> Everybody be finger all banging. Right. So 24 inches from this thing is here. Awesome. Getting haywired. So I should be good to go if I just move in. Let's see how hard my plane is to kill. Up to here. Uh 
So tower shoot haywire, and that hurts. But we'll see how it okay, goes. Okay, the Archon's gonna advance. Only one. Woo! Speedy Gonzalez. I might hold my Ravagers back a little bit. I think he goes six, eight. He moves eight. Wow. <laughs> he's a speedy little elf over he's, there. These guys are crazy. Used to playing slow stuff? Come on. Play Custodes. Maybe fast. All the Drakari Ravagers. Sadly, I wasn't quite able to bracket the one Ravager, so I'm going to be getting lit up by some Disintegrators, but I think that was my best bet, to try to bracket one. But we'll see. Probably pick up at least one point this turn, maybe both planes. We shall see, though. Okay, uh, Ravagers is uh, Assault, okay. Yep. They're flying gunboats. Okay, so I think that's my movement. My plan this turn was uh, I'll just leave these guys here. It's going to take you another turn or two to kill those racks, probably. Yeah, I mean, um, I rode those bikes will come in. So anyway, those racks kind of serve their purpose, which is just to make you split over to here. Yep. Um, and then uh, good advances got me onto this objective, so at least I'm going to hold. I won't lose the hold more this turn, which is good. Um, then I've set up. I've just advanced my line a little bit more. Happy with my line now. And then I've got my Talos, who will probably take out this Dakajet, and the Ravagers can take out something else. And that's about it. So that was just a conservative move. Yeah, we're both playing And uh, so let's go for Schusting. Schusting. Let's so uh, this Talos unit is going to shoot Yep. those guys, that front Dakajet. Sweet. I'm in range of my KFF for a 5-up info. But that doesn't matter versus Mortal Wounds. All right, so it's 2d3 each. 63 shots coming in. Here we go. Uh -oh. Six, uh, eight, 10, 12, 15. 15 shots, that's, that's Seven, not good. They hit on threes? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hitting on threes, so minus on one fours. hit. Yep. That might save you, man. No rerolls as far as I know. Yep. So, We'll see how this does. Four ups now for more wounds. Yeah, so I can do normal damage on a five. What's your okay. toughness? So six, six, six or seven? Six. Yeah, so just normal saves on a five. Yep. But then uh, four up is a mortal wound. Six up is D3 mortal wounds. Let's see it. All right, that's D3 mortals. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so take four normal saves first. Okay. AP or not? Uh, minus one. Okay, so five ups. Nasty guns. Save three. <laughs> All right, so you did stick one. Yeah. And then one mortal, uh, four mortals. Down to 11. And then four, four mortals, mortals. And then three more mortals, seven mortals. Seven mortals and one. And one damage, yeah. So it's eight total. So you're yeah. down to four wounds. Yikes. Haywire hurts. All right. Oh, okay, I did that wrong. It's actually ballistic skill four. Oh, it's so the only hit on fives? Okay, let me do it again. Sure. We'll re-roll it because tables aren't as good 15 at 15 shots. 2, 4, 6, yep. 8, 10, 12. So they hit on fives then? Yeah, sorry, I was reading the weapon skill. Got it. So maybe not as bad? Yeah, hopefully. it won't. Oh, lots of fours. Yeah, oh, All right. it's not even happening. Only four hits, okay. Looking for fours up. All right, All right just D3? D3 mortals and one save. Okay. Um, so one mortal and one, one save. And That's a big one difference. Five up. <laughs> yeah. Two damage, two damage. All right. That's a big difference. He's at 10 wounds Okay, now. second Talos unit then. Okay. <laughs> Another 63. That was much less impressive. Keep, keeping Darren honest. I like it. Thanks, Chad. There you go. True. Oh, one, two, three, four, eight. Only eight shots from the second Talos. Uh-oh. Yeah. Not good. Ranking for fives. Two hits. Two hits. D3 and mortals. One save and two mortals. Okay, so he's down to eight from the mortals and then the one save, five up. Nope, takes another one, down to seven. Okay, Ravagers. So, fun fact, I was thinking of using a billowing exhaust cloud on it to make it another minus one to hit on my turn, but my minus one to shoot is in my movement phase, so a little tricky. 
But yeah, you're, you're good. Keep going. You got to sh do your minus one hit stratagem in your my, movement my phase. My movement phase. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, you guys get it. Well, nice. I just won't do that then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, so, that's crazy. Yeah, works. Don't okay. have the best. Uh, uninjured game. Ravager here. Yep. Nine shots. Well, they're all the same, but yeah. So hitting on threes, uh, minus one. Fours. So fours with three roll, roll ones. ones. Yeah. There's my re roll ones. Woohoo. Re roll ones from the Archon coming in hot. Uh oh. When you're on fives? When you're on fives, re roll ones. So three. Three. Okay. Five up in balls. Pass one. So that's four damage. Four damage. Okay. Bring them down to three. Two damage each, right? Disintegrators are two damage. Whew. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Next Ravager. We roll ones. Only three hits from the next Ravager. No, hit on fours. Oh, there are three? Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. And fives. It's the five up that hurts me. Four again. There we go. Four. Uh-oh. So I need to pass three of these. Five ups. Oh, I passed three. He's down to one wound. Not two damage, yeah. Yep. Down to one wound? Yep. All right, I'll kill it. Try and kill it, anyway. Don't sound too confident. Oh, maybe not. Only Look fours. at that roll. Only two hits. Only two hits. Fives to wound. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, that is a total failure. Wound. I'm going to re-roll CP, re-roll one of those wounds. No. Oh, God. <laughs> the Dakajet lives desperate. with the dream. Okay, Dakajet lives, unfortunately. Might deny him kill here. That was pretty big. Yeah. Nice have spoken. That was pretty big. No, I, I won't be able to get a kill now. Yep. Unless, do you have any pistols on your characters or anything? I don't think so. Any any little Daka Daka? If they do it, it's, it's pistol range. No, so yeah, you'll be out. Don't matter. Yuri and Rakarth actually has a 2d6 thing 12 inches. No. Nope. And Pulling Hemophilus. for strings, no strings attached. Yeah, stinger pistols, only 12 inch. Okay, well, that sucked the <laughs> bag. Plain waves with one wound. Dig it, I dig it. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, What's next? So, uh, just combat then. So no the, charges? These three dudes. No, I'm um, out Great. of range. Hit me. So Six these three dudes. Rags versus Snaga, uh, dude. Four. Seven attacks. Two for the two guys and then three for three. the... Yep. They hit on threes or fours? Threes. Threes and then sixes? I'm a vehicle. Oh. Woohoo! Yep. All right. Five attacks. Hit on twos. Maybe it doesn't triple one. Oh! Four ones. That's even Four better. ones that evens out my seven even threes. <laughs> three to wound. Yep. There's a wound. Minus two. Four up. D3 damage. One damage, one six up. Hey, we got one more rack. Woo! Okay, so that's my turn. All right. That sucked. Well, we, okay. we officially got lucky in so our I didn't kill whipped. one, I hold one. And so you kill more. We hold equal. I didn't kill. Uh, oh, you didn't kill anything? No. Nope. Oh, we, we okay. both whiff turn one. So yeah, so it's no literally, kill, it's no literally two one. <laughs> <laughs> it's two one at the we top. We should just start again. <laughs> It's a, it's, let's just say we're playing a reserve game. Alright, it's 2-1, you know? 4 orcs. Turn 2, starting. That was a double, that yeah. was a whiff. That was a turn. huge whiff from both. I, my Snaga Claw rolled 4 ones. You know, what can you do? It's, it's the life. The life of a Snaga Claw. So, looking at the field right now, I'm going to crash into the Grotesques. Um, gonna get Vexator masked and going to get punked a little bit by them. So how many CP you got now? Still 10, right? Still, still 10, yeah. yep. So yeah. So I'm, I, I'm kind of stuck here because I got to try to get recon. So I'll probably sacrifice this jet just to fly in, get some recon. I'm gonna- yep. There's only got one left, right? So yeah, probably not gonna left. hit anything. I'm looking right now, it looks like his Vexator mask is really exposed to my planes. So I might put my plane base right there and snipe out his character. Yeah, that's true. Plane. He'll that's be able true. to kill it with the Talos and assault, but at least he'll force him to assault that. Uh, how many wounds on Homunculus? Um, Five. five. See, I had that in mind too, but I just uh, didn't have. Uh, enough, see, I told you at the beginning movement. of the game. It happened. I know. I had. I'm like, I have to make sure I can't get sniped up by flyers. Yeah. Uh, five wounds. Yeah. Five wounds. Okay. So if I shoot 18 shots, what's the toughness? Five. Uh, five or four. It'll be five because he has five. Cards. Okay. So I'll still be wounded on threes. So yeah, 18 shots should kill him with one jet. Hit it on fours, and so uh, yeah, I might end up sacrificing the other jet because. This jet is, you know, sitting on one wound. He's not, he's not looking the hottest. So you still hit on fours, even if you're one wound left. No, no, I'm talking this. Oh, jet, that the, one. The full wound jet. Uh, but the lowest bracket on a deck jet 
You know, he's BS6, but that's that's orcs. Yeah. So he'll be he'll be BS5. So I should have curled sort of his tails thing. around there. Yeah, yeah. you should have bubble wrapped the. Yep, no, that was bad. Bad, bad, bad. Don't kill me, Scar. Yeah, we'll, don't kill me. We'll see if we can That's punish. why I didn't make the ETC team. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little mistakes that add up. Um, so right now, I'm just going to read a stratagem for my Snagaclaw. I have a stratagem that when I fought a combat, um, it's this special Death Kill War Trike stratagem. Uh, it's Snag a Grapple. Uh, when I fall to combat, I can select this. enemy unit within one inch. On a two up, I do D3. Nice. So I might end up doing that. Just try to force some more wounds on the racks. Fall yeah. out the well, you might kill them by doing that. Yep. So uh, I think the real question for this turn is going to be whether I can actually kill that homunculus and if I want to dedicate the full strength package jet and sacrifice him or play him conservative and play for the late game. Uh, the way it looks right now, I think I'm just going to be... Uh, playing conservatively with the full wound jet, I'll probably just fly it over here, try to kind of hold over there, sacrifice this one wound jet, try to snipe Urien, or the homunculus with the vexator. We'll see if it works. Um, I'm going to have to try to get my boys up now and start kind of trying to force them to come towards my boys. Um, but yeah, going to the start of Orc's turn. Yep. All right, so we'll start with the DAC jet. So... Brave Sir Dakajet with one wound. It's just gonna fly right to there. With his, with his beautiful. Um, uh, one wound, that's fine. <laughs> no, we'll remember he's got he's, one. Wound. He's got one wound. We, we don't need to mark it. It's, it's pretty clear what's happening there. So the question is do I wanna engage with my knobs on Warbike? So I can move 16 base, and then if I wanna come out with my war boss, I can advance and charge them. But I don't know if I really want to engage hard into him yet. Vexator Mask is only one unit, right? Yep. So if I charge multiple units into that one grotesque blob, I should be able to kill it. And then, you know, I'll take the counter charge from the other grotesques. But, you know, this tailless unit is pretty far away. It can probably fly and, you know, get in. And I'll get punked by some tailless. But I think that's really my best option is to try to go after one grotesque blob and kind of divide and conquer that way. So, I think the the you know the war the door trek did okay over there, but he's just going to leave those racks be. They, they aren't going to be too much of a. Headache. Well, you'll kill them in this turn probably. I will unless, kill them I mean, unless, I unless you out. fluff like that, yeah. But unless you could fall. Out. Yeah, you could fall out. Yeah. Grimading. Good evening. So yeah, the plan is going to come over here. Yeah. So what was his movement distance with one wound left? Uh, was it enough to get you that far? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over 20. It was a 21 inch, but I will read it. I've never had to worry about planes swimming. 25, so okay. 26 inches is plus one. And then he could advance as well. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm assuming it was fine. Yeah. He's, the stream wants to know. The stream needs to know the one wound Dakajet. How, <laughs> how OP is a one wound Dakajet? Well, the answer is uh, it's okay. You know, it's all right. So uh, I think he's grots here. I might be able to come up, get on this objective. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're just going to go for it. So the question right now is, do I want to get my boys out and try to, you know, start to get them into combat? A kind of cheeky tactic that I've been thinking about to try to counter the Vexator Mask. So let's say here, I can deploy my boys three inches, move them six, and then if I get in and base a bunch of these grotesques, they'll only be able to hit the boys even if he Vexator's masked me. And so that's kind of a way that I've been thinking of countering the Vexator Mask. Yeah, so you just don't, until you just pile in to combat. Hmm? So yeah, you can pile you, in. You start too. off away from six and then you can't be chosen. Right, but yeah. the thing is with the battle wagon here, it's going to have to be within six if it, yeah, wants yeah. To, if it wants to get in. Yeah, so I'm trying to use this building to my advantage too. So yeah, kinda... so we are going to hop out the, uh, I think... Let's see, this unit boys came out. Yeah, so this unit boys will probably just chill in there. We'll just move that for a minute so people can see. See what's going where on. Where the units are. All right. So, you know, we just, just got to start moving eventually. So I'm going to hop out this unit boys. Nope, the plane is an inch away from the Mungalus. Yeah. yeah, I did not wrap well. The bubble was not... The, the bubble, bubble was not complete. The bubble is not strong in this one. If they're going to move, you might as well just move them. Okay. Like, yeah, save yourself some time. 
Yeah. Um, and I think I'll advance them as well. Okay. Uh, six, six would be to here. Yeah. So how far is that from you? If just you want to oh. measure from here to your guy? Yes. Six in charge. Six in charge. Uh, so no. plus one, five. Uh, seven. Six in charge, yeah. Six in charge, plus, so five inch with a reroll. Yeah. So I don't need to advance them. So you want to just keep that there? Oh, yeah. So I'm just getting out the boys, moving them six. Yes, I left a gap. Thanks for reminding me again. <laughs> God, these stream guys. <laughs> hey, hey, it's don't like, give Darren too hard of a time. <laughs> he's, 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 Luckily, Scary's not really watching. He's painting. <laughs> he's painting and chatting. You hear that, Scary? He's dissing on you again. <laughs> these scream, stream people, man. Watching your every move. <laughs> yeah. The stream, the stream knows. The top down view makes it easy makes it really hard to cheat <laughs> <laughs> cheating becomes intensely difficult so it's gonna be a little bit of a tight tight squeeze here I'm gonna keep all my bikes here at max range and just try to pepper the crap out of these grotesques. Yeah, you don't want to block your boys well, yeah well when I charge I can tip it yeah um, so yeah we're just gonna measure that for these bikers I got plenty of movement so it's going to be probably all of them but one. You know, and this bike will actually come way over here. Bikes have tons of movement, so they don't need to worry too much about no thing. I'm just kind of moving how I want. Oh, Scary is here. Scary is here? Uh oh. I felt it before I saw it. <laughs> the the laser beams going into the eyes. <laughs> All right, so this guy's up there. I'm tapping that objective. Be able to shoot everything. So the question is, does this battle wagon want to go ham too? So grotesques, four attacks each. Um, what's their strength? It's like five or something. Strength five? Well, they get an extra strength with Urian around. Okay. Uh, strength six. Strength six, okay, so I'll be toughness eight, so you'll still be winning on fives. It'll be, be a lot of attacks. So, and they have no overwatch there, right? No. Okay. So we're gonna come in for the grand hurrah. So I gotta disembark my weird boy first. Oh, what's my power from pain this turn? That's the question. I'll disembark and run we my weird boy. roll dice for advances in charge. For four. 13. Uh, and Smite needs line of sight, right? It's actually five attacks, yeah, because of the cleaver. The monster's the cleaver. cleaver, yeah. So I'm just going to put this weird boy. So back. fighting vehicles, people tend to use the cleaver then for the minus two rather than use the flesh gauntlet because you're not getting mortals against vehicles. So I guess that's what people use. Yeah, Chico will smite with our weird boy here. Um. So the table quarter is here, right? So if I have, you, if I have like my battle wagon there. Yeah, you're in the table quarter now if you count the front here. Yeah. Okay. We're leaving this unit boys in there. Decepticons. Hmm? Decepticons. Oh yeah, I got some, <laughs> a little transformer flavor. Uh, the question is, do I want to go in with my claw boss? I think the answer is no right now. I think I'm just gonna play it, reserve with the claw boss and try to hold it back and try to get into some Talos and really punk them hard. Admiral, welcome. Um, but this point is- Jukari under the pressure here. Will they fold? We shall see. So the question with this point is, do I want to fly it over here and try to take out one of those Ravagers? Or do I want to fly it over here and you know have some more, have some more angles to go on? Um, I've, I've been usually flying minimum distance with my planes. But I think I think the play is to go. So basically, the thing I'm thinking about with this flyer is do I want to get shot by all this haywire and all that stuff? I mean, the haywire will probably be going in here, but they'll probably be locked up with grotesques. So they might have to fall out. Um, I guess these boys will be easy. Just advance these boys. Extra three. So you know, the boys might get some pepper shots in here. Boys are moving nine inches.
So I'm going to try to force him to decide if he wants to come kill these 30 boys with the Talos, or if he wants to go bang on some wagons. Well, I'd like to do both, ideally. That is, you know, <laughs> you got two squads of Talos, so that's entirely possible. I'd like to do both, because they both whip scoring points. Now the big choice of the plane. So, I think, yeah, we're going to play conservative. Uh, so I can count the front of the shock prow as it, but you'll be 50% obscured then? Um, well, if I'm 50% obscured. If, if, I, if I was to fly If you shoot from there, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm, in, other, it, I'm the other, in the rune now. The other Ravager is not 50% obscured? Because it's not He's not in the rune, yeah. Okay. And that's the one that took four wounds before? That one's got uh, six left. Six left? Okay. Yeah. You just want to put on the Ravager? This guy? Yeah. That's it right there? Yep. Okay, cool. So if I fly my plane right over there and draw in a sight to the back of that Ravager, luckily not in cover. So we're going to play it safe with this plane. And that's his minimum move 20. Do we know War Painter? Um, um, don't know. <laughs> so big, big mech on war bike will advance. Should Actually, we know war painters? Going 21. Uh, these grots are going to run. Brave grots that are going to come hold that objective later in the game. So they'll actually just come. Uh, actually, I should just measure. So it's three down. It's two, and three is five, and we rolled a four. So they have a five inch move plus four. So yeah. Not going to be able to make the objective this turn. I should have moved them up last turn in case all my knob bikers die, but I'm not too worried about the knob bikers yet. We'll see if I was wrong about that though. Uh, so the question is where do I want my kill boss to go? I think he's just going to drive over there with the rest of the guys. So he advanced to another five, another 21. These orc planes are so cool looking. Yeah, I, I love orc planes. I like, awesome. like the front of it. Oh, it's like... Back and jets! Yeah, it's cool. Alright, so that's looking like the end of my movement. Just okay. Kind of pushing up. Got to get my recon points now. Auto a streamer, but he's trying to get local people to join our Discord to create a hub. Cool. Tell them to contact us. So we're going on Psychic. Psychic phase, okay. S smite from there, I get plus one. Where is that there's going? there's ten boys. It's going into the grotesques. Oh yeah? Okay. Yep. Is it closer than these guys? Uh, we can measure. Should just be 18. 16 ish. So that's 16. That's a little farther. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yep. So. Smite. Plus one. Ooh, Ooh. big three. So I don't perils because I get yeah. plus one. So luckily I don't perils because I get plus one for my 10 boys that are sitting right there. But that fails, so that's all right. Uh, start shooting. Okay. So main event, Daka Jet on one wound, shooting into the Vexator Mask Man. So he's hitting on what, sixes now? Fives. He's hitting on fives? So I get plus one hits if I shoot the same target. Um, he's BS six, and then he gets yeah, plus one. Yeah, I'm just thinking it was worth protecting him. So you're hitting on fives. Five shots, 18. Any sixes, um, and so here I'm debating if I want to use Daka Daka to make every five and six do more, but I don't think it's worth it, so nope, I'm just going to be shooting them straight. Okay. Yeah, I'll make a minus one, I guess. So whitening fast reflexes on him? Yeah, see if I get that back. Nope. All right, so he's minus one to hit, so I'll be on sixes still. Cool. Yeah. Uh, do you want to put the dice tray back up here? We can do our rolling in there. Oh, yeah. So let's see, 18 shots on sixes, six to generate more. All right, two sixes. Thank you, this was made by Darby Three actually. Nope. Uh, no, not Darby, Three BJ, up in the uh, pet. Two wounds at minus one. So yeah, his lightning fast reflexes saved him from getting hit six times. Yeah. So I would have killed him without that, but 
Force him to use some CP. And uh, five up and bone. Makes them both. Woo! He's not even getting touched. All right. Um, do this stack of jet into that wounded Ravager. Which one? This one? The one that I took. That one there? Before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because the other one gets cover. Uh, what, what would it save you with cover? Uh, it's on a three up save, so it'll be two up. So it'll be a two up and then minus one for three up. So yeah, we'll just shoot the back one. Or, um, let's see, do I have range the other Ravager? Can you measure it? This one? Yeah, I guess he'd be 50%. No, I'll just shoot the back one that's out of cover. Yeah, because he's, he's on there yep. too. So shooting back Ravager. This stack of jet going into the back Ravager there. Go for it. Hit on fours. Six to generate more. So be two sixes. Pretty good hit so far. Two more shots. And wound on fours. Thank you, Admiral. Nice pet checking in. Nice pet. Kevin. Five, what's up, Kevin? See you in a wounds, few days. Minus one, so five ups. See you in a few days, man. Oh, made Ooh, three of them. Takes two. Feel no pain. Uh-oh. No, takes two. Bracket okay, it. Down to four. Okay. All right, um, do this war boss. And does the war back have line of sight on the grotesques? Can you look at that far grotesque? Like this guy? Uh, this one going through, shooting through to here, going on that grotesque. Yeah, I'm sure you can see your grotesque okay. through there, yeah. We'll do both the bikes at the same time then. I'll buy that for a dollar. Buy it for a dollar. All right. Get on five and sixes into the grotesque with their deck agains. Oh, one. A hot, hot one a hit. A hot roll of one hit. Yeah. Uh, toughness six? Uh, yeah, six. Okay, no wound. Okay. Orc shooting, 101, go. Um, That's more like it. The Ludus thing is really crazy, actually. It's totally <laughs> non orky. It's, it's, the Ludus <laughs> thing is pretty whack. So now I'm going to try to clear off those racks with all of the bikes. Okay. So. Uh, I think well, not all of them can see the racks. Yeah, I think like these guys these can't. Two? I'll check this guy. Uh, this guy can. This guy can? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they can see that guy. Okay, yeah. so two guys can't see the racks. So it's a uh, three, six. Six onto the racks, two onto the grotesques. Okay. So six of them shoot 36 shots. Uh, and I'm going to spend two CP to give them Daka Daka. I believe. I got 10 left. Uh, yeah, I got that wrong, but it doesn't matter because I rolled the five and sixes about those two wounds. Mm. It was actually four up, not three up. Uh, save? Yeah, but I rolled five and six on the two saves. Oh, because he has three up armor base? Four up armor. But it was minus one. Is my deck just minus Yeah, so I rolled five and six. Okay. Yeah, so it's good. Okay, uh, so I'm spending two CP here and Daka Daka on the bikes. So every five and six will trigger. Do you want to vect it? No, I don't have enough of the Vect anymore, man. Oh, look, look, bleeding out the CP? Yeah, I just didn't feel there was anything super, super Vectable, so I'd rather use it for little stuff. I made that choice. So I'm picking up all the fives and sixes. Make that conscious choice. And I get more shots for these. These are all into the racks. So yeah, I just burnt Daka Daka, so these are all my additional shots. Yeah, how many CP do you have now? Uh, down to eight. Three, right. six, nine, eleven hits. I gotta remember my dude has a free reroll again. Yes, the extra warlord treatment. So these are the additional shots from the bike into the racks. Bikes, bikes dacking off. Might not be Luda's, but they're still good. Toughness four on the racks or five? Five. Five. Okay, wound on fours. Take out fails. Will you kill the unit? No, nope, only five mm -hmm. wounds. Well, you might if I fail all these. Yep, four ups. Made three. Hit okay, one damage. Feeling the pain. Oh, one. Killed one. Woo! So even with all that, only pick up one rack. Monkey lists are tough. So I'll do the two bikes into the grotesques. One more five. And these need fives. One. Pain. Hey! One window. Finger wound. And Grotesque, uh, four wounds. Four wounds. Juicy juice. So. Don Quixote Punch. Welcome. 
Scarry stealing everyone into the Discord. Yeah, we should totally like plug that Discord into the stream and like <laughs> 20 people can be commentating on the stream. So we're gonna do all the boys into that grotesque blob. Okay. Uh, cause that's, yeah, that's the best target. So there's 29 boys, 58 shots. <laughs> that's a lot of shots. This is 30. Uh, move six is out. Only wounded on fives though. But you know, gotta, gotta ping them off sometime. So, so it's six extra. Yep. Six extra shots so far. <laughs> no more hits, nice. And then another 28. Maybe we get two wounds, let's see. I think that's the wrong unit actually. Picking up sixes, got six more shots. These shots are at this unit, right? Yeah. Okay. Blue man group. Blue man, the mark for death group. Let's see if we can put some, some hurt into them. These are the additional shots. Pretty good shots from the boys. Let's see, can we get two wounds? This is what, this is what I'm hoping for. Looking for fives. Axis Entropy, welcome. Not the hottest roll. Looks like six, seven. Seven? Yep. Boys push seven wounds on the grotesques. Four up. Oh, diabolical. Uh oh. Oh, not too bad. Average. And feel no feel no pains. No. Nope. Four. Pick he up a grotesque. One. The boys pick up a grotesque. It's the moral victory for the boys. Sadly, looks like the end of my shooting phase, though. Okay. Well, a little lackluster, but you know. All right, got off light. Killed some but stuff. you know, the real, real game is coming. Yep. So I'm pretty much gonna. Did focus. you expect to do more in that shooting phase? I expect. I think you expect to kill more racks. Yeah, a few more racks and maybe a couple more wounds in the ravager. Okay. I was hoping to get down to the lowest bracket, but it's hard. It's the life. The life they work. The sweet. life of the darkin. So. Now the decision is, do we want to put the battle wagons into the one grotesque blob? I think the answer is yes. So we're going to try to base two grotesques with this battle wagon, so we can only get three on that one. And then try to base them with the boys too. Alright, so we'll start charging. Uh, who has guns? Uh, I don't anybody has guns. The homunculus? Uh, the Talos and the homunculus and Urian. Okay, so um, you will be able to heroically... What's the strength of the homunculus? No worry about hitting them. I don't think you need to wear too much about the homunculus. Uh, he's strength three, so he'll be strength four. Okay, so he'll be six is doing, so. Like, just poison, which doesn't work on vehicles. Yeah, I'll charge him. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about it. I, I won't be intervening with him. <laughs> and Urian has uh, homunculus tools and i court. I'll, I'll stay out of three of Urian, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so I'll do the first battle wagon in. Um, yep, just straight charge. Roll the nine. I didn't know he can do mortal wound at the start of the fight phase to a unit within three inches. Juicy area. It's just gonna park it so. Oh, well, only if you roll a six. Right there. Uh, the boys. So you charge both of these units, yeah. I guess. I'm okay. charging uh, the grotesque and the racks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the boys are. Just they won't be able to fit these bikes in there, eh? No, they're just gonna be okay. killing those racks over there. Uh, so the boys are going into just the grotesques. Uh, just this unit of grotesque. Yeah. How far is it? Uh, it was seven. six. Remember. Seven. Okay. So I'm not going to choose to re-roll. I'll just base them on the pile-in move. Uh, it's at three. I just haven't changed it. On the overlay, sorry. I need, like, a lackey to, like, run the overlay <laughs> for optimal staying up to date to keep, keep the stream happy. So if you choose the battle wagon to fight last, I get to fight with the boys first and pile them in. Is that correct? Well, you can choose any other charging unit. Okay. But it's just a battle wagon would fight last. Yeah, these are just normal, normal chopper boys. These are just, these are just slugger choppers. I didn't shoot their sluggers because you know, sometimes you don't need to roll dice. Uh, this battle wagon will also go into the same grotesque unit. Uh, so is this the start of that grotesque unit? Like these three? Uh, no. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay. So that's this is the other unit there. Yeah. 
So basically, this is the Mark for Death unit, so they're the ones I really gotta kill. But, if I pull them into combat, I'm gonna be hurting pretty hard. So I'm just gonna charge that same squad. Looks like you got Are it. you gonna be get in there without being... Yeah, go right there. Okay. That was kosher. Fun. Um, the not bikers are gonna go into the racks. Punk some racks, rolled an eight. Punk some racks. Vexator mask, yeah. What should I vex? These uh, battle wagons kind of hurt, but this one's got like possibly twelve Six attacks, points, yeah. and they're all hitting on twos. Yep. Uh, strength. Strength eight. is eight. Minus two, two damage, right? Yep. So yeah. That's the that's the bone breaker. That's a scary one. So they do a lot of damage, but the most I can get is three. Two grotesques, because I'll base that one, so you can't pile in. Well, I don't need to pile in as long as I'm within it. But if you're this one. if you're base, can't you not attack? I thought you can only attack the unit that's based. You can attack anybody. You don't have to within, attack within an inch. Within. No, because you can attack if you are within an inch of somebody who's in combat, right? Okay, so you'll get three grotesques on the battle wagon. Yeah, so I could get three grotesques onto yeah. that. Sixteen wounds, toughness eight. I yeah, I don't think I'm going to kill it with grotesques. Yeah, but you might bracket it. Yeah, the question is, who should I vexator? Yeah. Uh, so or I, I, I think, um, let me just check some other ranges. I think that'll or be are these trick. 10 boys doing, what, 40 attacks, basically? <laughs> no, they're, they're not too scary. Uh, yeah, that, that's all for charges. So vexator time. Okay, so, and this guy's doing the same, but just not the extra D6 attacks. Correct, so he just has six. Okay. But he's hitting the same unit, so. Yep. Or 40 attacks with boys that are just strength 4, no... no not, not 40 attacks, it's uh... Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, how many Ten guys boys. 2, 4, 6, 8... 10 boys. 9, nine 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. There should be 10. Did I miss one? I think you're missing one. Is it this dude? Um, yeah. Oh, so they were in this? No, no. They were in the other one. Oh. So, yeah, oh. I'm just missing one. Oh, okay. Hey -o. So is there anybody in here? Yeah, 10 men boys. Oh, 10 more boys in there. Yeah, okay. They're just, they're the squad right here. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna have to vex this uh, this thing. <laughs> the bad battle wagon. Kay. Yeah, because that thing hurts too much. Okay, Kay. go for it. Your charges. All right. So the bad uh, battle wagon has to fight last. Yeah. So I will start with this battle wagon then. Okay. So six attacks. So this battle wagon's rolling in with his death roll. He's just a normal battle wagon. Our top death roll. Hit on twos. Uh oh, don't you see that? Wound on threes. Ooh, one, one wound. Minus two. Saves. Loves it. All right, uh, power in those boys. Share our invite link. Invite, invite the what? So, uh, boys are rocking two base plus drop -off. So yeah, uh, so it's 30 attacks from the boys plus four from the knob. And the knob does not have a big choppy. It's just, it's just a normal chilling knob. Uh, there's, so there's nine boys with four attacks each. Okay. Uh, 27. So it's 30. Uh, 36. Six. Yeah, 36. See if we can plink a couple wounds off your test. Boys. And on threes. Then I'll do the knob separately. Yeah, you can put it, in, put it put it in the chat if you want, Admiral. No problems. And toughness six, right? Grotesque? Yeah. Uh, six, yeah. Wing fives. Oh, not a hot roll. I'll pull out wounds. Uh, so, uh, seven wounds only. Okay. Four failed. Six ups. Ooh. No. Pick up a grotesque and do one to the other one. Mm-hmm. Right. And brave Sir Nob Nobinson with his double axes swinging. Nob's always with for me. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's loving it. One wound. Same same profile. Loves Good. it. Okay. On to you. Okay. Uh. So I guess uh, my racks can fight. Oh yeah. As much as they're going to do against. 
Hit my over hippie warrior. Yeah. Two, four, six, three. Threes and sixes? Because they're poison, right? Yeah. Nope. Not for the racks. Okay. Only grotesques. two grotesques on my battle. So now we got two grotesques. So I'll do those two first. Okay. And then. You want to pile on that back one? Or? These um, three guys. These are already attacked, right? Hmm? These guys are already attacked. Yeah, these two units have already attacked. Okay, these three guys are going to shoot, uh, are going to attack um, the boys. Okay, all of them? Yeah. Okay. Let's kill those boys. Okay. Uh, those are dice. So the two into the wagon first? With the yeah, two into the wagon. So ten attacks. Four yep. attacks plus the extra for flesh cleaver. So ten attacks. Yep. Hit on threes. Hit on threes. And these strength. are strength uh, five plus one, so strength six. Hit, so five. So doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, just AP. two. Uh, AP minus two. Okay, two six ups. Nope, damage. Just one each. Oh, one each? Okay. Yeah. Down to 14. Still at his top profile. So three guys now, so another. Yeah. Copping some boys. Okay, and these guys I might use. Um, They're poison. The flesh gauntlet. Yeah. Yeah, so it gives you mortals if I roll a six. Okay. And then they get the extra attack from the monster's cleaver. So I'll take out three attacks for the monster's cleaver at the end. Yep. So here's the uh, flesh gauntlet. Yep. Going into the boys. Threes. Not rolling well in combat, dudes. Uh oh. And strength? Threes to wounds? Uh, strength six. Yep, threes. AP? Uh, no, so that's a mortal. Yep. And then no nice AP. One. No AP? Okay. Yeah. Six ups. Uh, and you gotta save that too. And this is a mortal. Oh, yeah, and in it's, addition, and it's yeah. Safe? Okay. Yeah. So five boys. Okay. And then three cleavers. Two hits. And two wounds. And minus two. So no two, two more. more two more dead boys. Uh, what's the damage on the cleavers? Just one. One, yeah. Okay, so I'll keep a boy and do a wound to the knob. Okay. Try to try to not fail morale. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And now this. Uh, the bone breaker time. The bone breaker. Let's see this thing. The main event. See what I can hit Let's on this. see this thing. Yeah, uh, Admiral, you can post it. It's fine. D6 attacks. Three. I'll take it. Coming in with nine attacks. Come on, bone breaker. Hit on You're two. You're talking to grotesque, I presume. Yeah, yeah. everything. Ooh, Ooh. Bunch of ones again. Four ones. That's, that's not good. Threes. Three wounds. Minus two. Saves two. Two damage. Two damage. Yep. Everyone makes one. So one damage. Ooh. Well, that's not so bad. Hot, not so bad. Hot whiff on the ones. Baby. That's not so Let's bad. <laughs> Down to two for this grotesque. All right. Um, you want to just pull those racks? Uh, yeah. Do you want to do a pile? Oh, I guess there's not much no. place to pile. Uh, the quag aisle pile. Consolidate three. Okay. Whew. Boom, boom. Okay. Uh, I don't need morales. Do you need morales for these boys? Oh, yes, I do. So you killed seven, six? Because I put him in the There's two knob, boys right? left in the knob. Three boys. Uh, three boys left in the knob. Yeah, so kill six. Yeah. Uh, and they are believe, leadership seven. So on a one, none of them run. Two, one of them runs. Brave boy. Uh, pull this guy. Okay. That's all. So in your turn, end of turn two, you killed one. Because you killed those racks, you hold one. Yep. Uh, you got recon. Yep. Uh, did you kill ravagers or grotesque? No, nope, and no nope. old school. So uh, that's three points for orcs in turn two. So orcs on five, five to one right now. Here comes the Dark Elder retaliation. And going into Dark Eldar turn two. Let's see what we can do. Uh, just a CP check. So I got. Uh, Two, three left. Yeah, three. and you got eight. Eight. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, turn two. So what am I trying to do is to kill some shit. We're in his face now. He's gonna kill us. Okay, so I need to kill this jet because that's an easy kill one. Um, the question is how to do just one damage on this freaking thing. <laughs> okay, so I think these grotesques are gonna come go over there and fight boys. 
What do you got back there? Nothing, right? Just a girl. Okay, so these dudes can loop back around. So these grotesques are going to go that way. <clears throat> these three talos are going to stay here and kill these trucks. Hey, wire hurts. And then see what's left, and I can charge one or two things. Ravagers are going to shoot these bikers. Because two damage hurts for bikers. Three wounds each, though. Oh, three wounds each. Not bikers, baby. Oh, wow, okay. Not bad, but... Should have used a stratagem again to make a minus one to hit. That's all right. Forget. Oh, because you have to use it in your it's return. It's the start of my movement phase, too. <laughs> it's retarded. Uh, yeah. Before you decide anything, for the next two turns, you got to decide if you want to use it. At the start of your movement phase, yeah. It's uh, Okay, so I think uh, that's my plan. Yep. So uh, I'm going to leave these racks in combat because there's kind of no point moving them out. They'll just okay. get shot. Got to make space. Okay, so first I'm going to move these tailos first. So what do you guys think? Should I have charged the other unit grotesques? I would have taken some wounds on my battle wagon, but I would have saved my boys. Leave, leave your suggestion in the comments. Their meat cleavers are scary for me, but I guess not that scary. So can five grotesques kill 30 boys flat out? He doesn't have enough CP for... Urian's moving six. Back. And so if you can't kill all 30 boys, I'll be spending 2 CP to auto pass and then 3 CP to Tide of Green Orcs and try to come in his backfield. But I think five grotesques can get the work done. But we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe not. 30 boys is a lot of wounds. The question is, do I use shoot and charge? When do you have to decide it? Now. Yeah, okay. When I fall back, I guess. Oh, okay. And you're down to three CP? Yeah, let's move those racks first. Make the decisions easy. <laughs> Don't make decisions until you have to. So I tried to kind of hide my plane in one unit Talos, the full wound one, but we'll see if it works. This, this beautiful tall building here is giving me a little bit of room to play, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna move your in back. I'm gonna move the. So he's probably gonna get kill more this turn, but I should be able to either contest hold more. Or get it. We'll see what happens over there. All right, we're gonna move these racks. Uh, not racks, the uh, grotesques. Okay. Just move them out of the way. Move my duder out of the way. Right. How far did grotesque move? Uh, seven. Okay. And you're not advancing them? No. Nope. Well, I'm falling out. Right. True. True. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I just move? Take this yeah, off. For sure. uh, okay. Just because I don't want to knock it over when I'm moving underneath Flying it. Flying around him? Yeah. All good. Okay. So these tails are definitely... The plane's pretty much dead, so Coming you know, in hot. Right. See how good tails do. Yeah, I'm going to move these... Right. Retreat the racks too. You're following them up? Yeah, there's no point for them to stay and they can't do anything and it just means I can't shoot this thing. Give me options. Give yep. me options. Uh, this grotesque back here. Two wounds, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, now this Talos unit. Okay, maybe that's 
six. I think fall back and charge is two CP. Yeah, it's two CP. Okay. So. Did you use it or not? I will use that on these guys. Okay. I think it's worth it. You get them back? Um, well, I haven't gotten one back yet this turn, right? Yeah. Actually, for all your stratagems, I've not been rolling. Anyway, I got my six there, so. Okay. Got one back this turn. So you're on two then? Two left, yeah. Okay. And grotesque can charge whatever lives. If anything. I think it was like, should I move these up, up this way, right? But that would be too, too long a charge, so. If I need to, for some reason, I kill one of these things, I could always put haywire into these guys. It's still strength four minus one, one damage, right? You know, kill boys too. Um, so, okay, now I gotta do ravagers. something with my ravagers. The black is, I probably hurt. don't need to do anything with my ravagers because I can see and I'm in range with those two. That guy needs to move. So I'm gonna move the Archon just over here. Mr. Mr. Archon in the corner. Go. Come over here. And then this guy might as well move too. How far does he move now? Is there a second profile? Yeah, ten. He can still move ten. <laughs> Speedy Ravagers in the back. So I've been able to conserve uh, 8 CP, and I've got him down to 2, so I can kind of do what I want free. This is when I'm going to try to utilize my bikes. We'll see how many live the Ravager shooting, but... Well, with 3 wounds, actually, they'll live. 3 wounds is a lot better than 2. Yeah, because 2 wounds, they would just get bumped. Yep. And yes, if chat's saying I should have minus 1 to hit them, I should have, but the start of my movement phase was a long time ago. And, you know, can't remember everything. Okay. Where are we starting? Just gotta look something up. Drukari psychic phase. Okay, now it's over. <laughs> yeah. Good old Drukari. Not like their Eldar brethren. Okay, so um, okay, so shooting phase. Uh, okay. I'm gonna shoot the one wound plane. You doing anything with that first? Oh yeah, I forgot about a one wound plane, motherfucker. <laughs> it's not the model's not. There. Okay, uh, Humunculus. Da -da -da! Try and take a wound off. <laughs> Is he a flamer thing or what? Uh, no, he's oh, got a okay. splinter, a stinger pistol. All right. One shot. See, it's, it's on a what? He hits on a BS2. Three. Yep. Hits. Uh, it's a poison weapon. Add two to wound rolls and less targeting vehicle. Okay, so vehicle. just a six up then. Six to wound. Miracle six. No. Not today. Okay, now Urian has his 2d6, assault 2d6. Casket of lensing, uh -oh. 12 inch, Throw only fired flash. once per battle. Are you blowing it? Dun, dun. And an Ikor injector with melee. Okay. Want a casket me? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Once per battle, 2d6. Six. six. Even six. What's his BS? He hits on twos. On threes. Uh oh. All hits. What's the strength? Strength three. Strength three, so sixes. One six, come on. Oh, no sixes. No? No sixes. Not a six? <laughs> Not a single six. The one wound plane, taking all the flesh to his butt. So what is he going to commit to it? Do I commit anything to it is the question. Uh, that's the question. Yeah, one wound plane, right? One wound plane for life. Yeah. Well, if you're not going to commit, I'll put the plane back up there. Oh, you can do it now if you want, yeah. yeah. It was just, I didn't want to knock it over and I was moving the, yeah, yeah, I know. the uh, talos underneath it. I don't want you to forget about it, all. Yeah, I almost did. Because <laughs> I'm like, what there. do you mean plane? There's no plane here. <laughs> Plane's back, one wound. How about the Archon? Living 
Oh, he's got a splinter pistol. Too. Oh, splinter pistol. I'm out of range. Yeah, I'm out of range. Oh, the plane may live to see another day. Okay, let's shoot and port and stuff first. Okay. Um, Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, let's shoot and port and stuff first. Okay, so this Ravager is going to yep. shoot these bikers. Yep. Is that the wounded one or not? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's the. Uh, one that one them. flew over from there. Yeah, one of them is bracketed. That's all. Yeah, so this one's eight. That one's the bracketed one. This is the fresh one. Okay. So fresh one going in. Fresh one, threes, three real ones. Hot stuff. Oh, three ones into three ones. Yeah, wound on fours. Toughness five. Toughness five, so string six. Oh, six? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, five. Yeah, you're right. Wound on fours. Fours are rolling ones. Not good. Wound Just two. Two? Yeah. Uh, AP minus, three. minus three. Minus three. Minus three. Okay, so. No saves. Yep, just no saves. Yep, so one bike's dead. One bike dies. Uh, not good, man. My Ravager's sucking. Okay, second Ravager. Uh, so, okay, wait. Does that, which one has line, does that one have line of sight? Yeah, the Shock Prow one. Okay. And it has line of sight to everybody, pretty much? Yeah, these two guys, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, no, they're gonna right. be. Can the Shock Prow see this guy? You wanna just check? I don't know. Shock Prow's here. Okay, yeah, you can shoot from the tip of the bow prow. Yeah, well, you shot me from it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just deciding if I want to pull off the objective or not, but um, I'm going to stay on it. Okay, second one. Yep. This is not the wounded one yet? Not the wounded one. Okay. Alright, wound on fours. Let's see. Oh, God. Three. Three. So, a bike and two. Bike and two damage, yeah. Yep. So, he's killed both my blade of wound bikes. Okay, and then uh, the last one, which is bracketed. So force. So hitting on force. Oh. And that one actually rolls better. The bracketed one. The bracketed better. one does, does the most. <laughs> Who needs brackets? Force. Oh, oh yeah. So one bike. Well, yep. There's no two, one right? Bike, two bikes, two three, bikes, bikes, three bikes, bikes, four bikes, four bikes. Oh, that last wounded Ravager Picking up did the bikes. money. Jeez. Whew. Ouch. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, so let's do this Talos unit are going to haywire into this thing. Yep. So 66. Sixes. At least it's the hit, though. Yeah. If that was wounded, <laughs> it'd be dead. It'd be dead. Oh, yeah. That's like 73 mortals. 73 mortals. Let's see the wounds, though. Let's do it again. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, and it's toughness eight, so that's not a wound. Okay. Um, so oh, but that's a mortal, yeah. So that's one mortal. Yep. So bring And then 15. this many and four saves. Okay. And uh, two, five, six, seven mortals. So, uh, and then four ten saves. And three to seven. And then four saves. Four saves at no minus? Uh, minus one. Five bucks. Nope, another four. Down to three wounds already. Three wounds left. Didn't kill it, though. Nope. Okay, I'll oh, yeah. kill it in the charge. Yeah. Uh, okay, these guys are going to... This is a 14 left? Yeah, that's uh, 14, yeah. Wow. These things are hard to kill. 16 wounds. Haywire hurts, guys. Let it be known. Okay, these guys are going to haywire this thing. Yep. 63, 3, 6, 8, 10, um, 12. Alright, only 12. Let's see if it can live. Should live with one wound if he does the same as the last one. Wound on fours. Wound on sixes. Wound on sixes. Yeah, sixes but are four are for mortals, yeah. yeah. Not as many sixes. Okay. So, uh, so that's one, four two, mortals. three, four mortals. And a D3. Five, mortals five mortals and one save. And one save, okay. One five up. Nope, so six, six, six damage done. Not not great. Down to eight. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's all my shooting. Alright. So let's go into uh, charges. Whew. Ravagers hurt. Alright, we're gonna start. Okay, so uh, this unit of tails, uh, okay. this unit of Gotes, we're gonna charge those boys. Yep. 58 shot overwatch. Can we point some more wounds? 
Uh, and I'll do, actually I'll do uh, 56 and I'll do the grenade as well. One time plus the bomb. So six A's, picking them up. So Can you tell me the name of the strat that seven? allows them to fall back and shoot? Yeah. It is called um, I said Cruel Deception. Dice minus four. It's any Drukari unit. You can fall back, shoot, and charge. Come on, boys. Can we get another grotesque? And I get Daka Daka. Three, six, nine, twelve. Six, nine, twelve. Boys, Overwatch is just like normal work shooting. Yeah. Six or you're not within? No, five now. Okay. Same. Still five. Still yeah. That's why I made that decision. Still the same. So six wings. Uh oh. Ooh. Not good, guys. Six ups. Pick up another grotesque. Yep. That's not good. Daka daka. Let's see this charge. This is a big charge roll. And uh, I'm gonna fail it. Nine. Nine or eight? Yeah, and they have plus one actually. Okay. And Do you want to just move them in? Yeah, move them in, them? yeah. That's fine. Just, just base Turn to base? Two. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't know if I can kill you now with only four guys. Let's see. Yeah, okay, this unit of Talos yep. is charging this thing. No Overwatch? No Overwatch? No, oh, okay. you can roll it if you want, but you don't have fly, so just tap him. Yeah, you got him. He has three wounds left. Uh oh. Uh, okay. These guys will charge in. Okay. Are they going to the boys too, or just hit? Uh, and the boys, yeah. So you can shoot me with the boys. Uh, two boys left, or three? Three boys? Two boys. Uh, boys hit once. Boys uh, don't move. Okay. And then the Talos are charging. Yep. Uh, these three wounds left? Yep. Oh, so you're definitely dead. And yep. this thing's got it. So they're charging this thing. Yep. The boys. Yep. And this Daka Jet. Great. The Daka Jet Overwatch. One Daka Jet. I should, I should just save the deck jet to get me a kill next turn. <laughs> Easy kill next turn. The six is three. Uh, and toughness of them is seven, so fives, so no. No, nothing? Nothing. Okay. Big 11 inches. Yep. Okay. Where do you want to start? I can interrupt you still. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what's uh, what's this guy's combat profile now? D3 with attacks, like three I left. Think. Okay, so not good. I won't be interrupting with him. So not good. I guarantee you that. Okay. Uh, this guy only gets the extra D6 on the charge. Oh, okay. So he's okay. just, how uh, many wounds left? I'm just figuring out whether I need to reroll wounds. And this thing's toughness eight, right? Yes. Nine strength seven. He has eight wounds, so he's still in his top profile. So he's yeah. got six attacks. Six attacks, strength eight, eighteen minus two, two damage. How many wounds on the towers? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay. I just wonder if I can kill it with two guys. Yes, sir. Big choices. Okay, um, reroll wounds on, on them. Talos? On this unit of towels here. Okay. Uh, I already rolled my, yeah, so I'm out. Out of CP. The Drakari are out and the orcs got eight. Let's see what see what the orcs can do with eight. Oh, I forgot my grenade over watch. Do you want to do that? Oh yeah, go for it. You three. Big one. Hits. Another shot. This is eight. Three to wound. No. Dice have spoken. Okay, so uh, two guys on this tr truck yep. and, and one guy's going to finish this jet. Okay. Uh, should I? Ah, oh, the jet's not that important. You know, your dude's bubble wrapped. Yeah, but I'm not scared of this guy who's on one wound left. Yep. And then that might give me an easy kill for a Ravager next turn. It might, yeah. For kill more and hold more. The big decisions. 
And do you what am I? House attacks into the battle wagon? I don't know how they are. Well, I like to kill these boys too because that's a unit. Yes, I'm gonna kill is. two this turn. You need to kill two. Two units. Well, you're gonna pick up the one battle wagon for sure, though. Yeah. So you just need to kill the boys. And what's the two. morale on these uh, bikers? I think there's seven, so they're if they, on a one they stay. On a two up, they you lose the rest of that unit. Uh, on a three. On a three up, you lose the rest of the unit. Yeah. Or you could spend two CP to save. Or I could spend two CP. Does he want the plane or not? I can't decide about this plane. Because I want to kill this bone breaker. And these boys. Well, the grotesque can kill the boys too. Yeah, see so charge them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, um, okay, yeah, one guy on the plane, two guys on the bone breaker. Alright. Okay, so on the plane. Yep. Let's see how Talos do versus vehicles. Alright, so uh, first he has chain flails or macro scalpel. Do you have one of each weapon? Uh, yeah, chain flails, macro scalpel. Huzzah! So that means I can choose either, right? Yep, first. But if you get like extra attacks with one of them, you only get it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I need the macro scalpel so I can go strength eight. Okay. Okay, everything with macro scalpel, five attacks each. One, two, okay. three, so five. you want to start with the ten into the five. bone breaker? Yeah. So that's ten attacks. And these guys reroll the wounds. Yeah, rerolls the wounds and one additional attack. So six attacks actually. Oh really? Yeah, because of the macro, are macro scalpel. Yep. Alright, threes. Yep. Can uh, the bone? Ouch. Ooh, that's a it's a hot roll, guys. I don't know. And they're strength eight because it's yeah. strength plus one. Four is re rolling. Four is re rolling Four. wounds. It's probably dead. Probably. What's the 18? Minus two. Okay, so I get six ups. I get my six ups. There you go. So I need to make a lot of these six ups. Yeah, nope. Two damage each. It's dead. Does it explode? Nope. All right. Yep. And then the one guy, six attacks. One, two, three, four, five. Six attacks on this jet. Uh, toughness is six. Okay, mm -hmm. so reroll wounds. So two wounds at minus two. Six ups. Nope. All right, four damage. Does it explode? Nope. Pass it. All right. All right, I'm gonna interrupt the boys. Nice. Okay. And the boys kill some grotesques. Hoping to try to pick up at least one grotesque here, then I think I'll be able to save boys and hopefully not even have to spend the CP to auto pass morale. Sadly these are shooter boys so they're not going to be swinging as hard. Okay, I think I made the right decision, because regardless now, I'm going to have kill more. I don't know, I just didn't want to leave that jet hanging around. Flyers can be painful. So 17 guys with 3 attacks each, so that's uh, 17 to 3 each, 30, uh, 42, 49. And really, the jets are the only thing that can hurt my Ravagers. Yeah, once you picked up all those bikes. Thanks. Yeah, dude, dude, that Ravager, one Ravager shooting, yeah. the other two were like... Whiffing. Whiffing, and then that one just like... <laughs> Turned it up. Yeah. I should have made the minus one hit. It's... Yeah, but you have to do that in the, like your previous turn. So, it's so crazy. Long for threes. All right, come on, Gratz. You got to survive. I don't know if I should have charged in there, to be honest. I might have just formed the wall and just waited for you. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, and Vexator you or something. Yeah, not being able to do any damage to that Vexator. Oh, I forgot the Vexator you, obviously, but it doesn't matter. No, because you I get to. Yeah, well, uh, you could interrupt that. Oh, you already interrupted. Okay, okay. oh, so you spent two CP. Okay, down to six. And, uh, wound on five on the Grotz. Next turn, I could get a CP back with my Labyrinthine I'll Cunning. Pick up wounds. It's looking okay. It's a lot of dice, you know. Get a few. So you're looking at three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen wounds from the boys. Pretty good. Okay, 
there. You'll kill one or two grunts. Yeah, and then, and then I got the knob attack and stuff. Oh, look at that save. Uh-oh. Horrendous. Six ups. Oh, one grot. Two grots. Yeah. Okay. And then the knob. Where's the knob? Uh, he's right here. He's at the same time, though. It's all the same time. Oh, oh yeah. And I don't think I have the points for a big chop on him. Let's check it. Nope. That was... What's your toughness? Bad. Five now? Uh, five, yeah. Okay, so he wins on fours. Two more. Six nope. Ups. Just two damage? Oh, one damage each. Oh, he doesn't have a collar in it? Yep. Two damage, huh? These right. guys. Not, it was a good interrupt. Not doing well. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'll just uh, do these guys. So. Yep. Uh, how many do you want into the boys? And then I'll just pick up the wagon. Well, that guy's there, so I'm going to just put two guys into the boys. Okay. And then. I'll just pick up the wagon. Okay. The three Talos and all the other grotesques on the yeah, wagon. Um, I'll disembark. Uh, or you just roll your tax first and then we'll do. We'll resolve all that. Okay, so Grotz four plus the extra from the thing. Ten attacks going into the boys. I can pick up the boys too, but yeah, you can roll it. If you like it. Nah, you can roll it, whatever. How many? Four saves. Four saves? Uh-oh. Yeah. Can we make a t-shirt? Nope, all dead. Okay. And then does the battle wagon explode? Nope. Nope. And then I get out ten more boys. Uh, am I three inches from that objective? Oh, so actually... Like, I should have... Oh, yeah, because I didn't uh, declare your boys. Yeah. I couldn't attack them anyway. Okay. Um, I'm at three inches from that objective with the battle wagon. Yeah, you're outside three. Outside three? Yeah. So I can't put them on that? No. Um, I guess I'll roll, see how many die first. Brave boys. I can roll again. No boys die. They get out and they're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of dudes here, and none of them are green. Nope. But it's okay, none of my boys are green either. Joke's on you, they're all pink. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, I forgot. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll do those grotesques at the back. Yep. Five attacks each. What's the leadership on grots? Um, six or seven. Good. That's four. Only four? Uh oh. And no mortals, eh? No yeah. mortals and four. So the boys interrupting was, was a good call, I think, but we'll see how it goes. I don't think I don't think I would have killed the unit anyway. Yeah. I think that was a mistake going there. You think yeah, going in? Yeah. Because I've separated them from the rest of the army now. Whereas if you hit me, you kill like three, but then you're committed. So the question is, do I want to spend three CP to swing again? And then I'll kill them. And I can push in, but Talos are mulching grots, or mulching boys. But they're uh, flails, so I think I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to need my CP to spend on my war boss. Because he'll probably go in, punch some stuff, die, and then fight again. Okay, so... So this battle wagon's gone. No more battle wagons. So, so that's it, I think. Yep. So you kill more, and we tie hold. Okay, so I kill, I hold. I owe you a leadership on the bikes. Uh, yeah. So looking for one. Nope, they were Six. Oh, they're gone too. Okay, so I kill more. We yeah. tie on hold. No, nope, you hold more now. I hold more now. Oh, because you lost that guy. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then uh, do I got some reaper points? Probably. I don't know. Uh, we can count this Add up it up at the end, yeah. You killed one unit of 10. So I killed uh, the knobs. That's one of my mark for death. I killed yep. both trucks. So I have three for mark for death. Yep. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points that turn. Whew. So it's eight to five Jukari for Jakari yeah. going on to turn three. The orcs are running out of stuff. Still got all my characters swinging at full strength. So yep. I'm just going to pretty much come in and start swinging for the fences with the characters. Top of three. Uh, Looks like he still didn't learn his lesson about bubble wrapping, so I might be able to fly my plane over there. Yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> if that's worth it. I think I need to kill Ravagers, because going into the late game, the Ravagers are going to be a real pain. Um, all right. Start at work's turn. Get this off the table. And this is three? Turn three, yep. Top of three. Sweet. 
So the plan this turn is to go in, swing for the fences with the claw boss. Um, I'm going to probably cast Fist of Gork on him. And just swing for the fences with him. Silva Dean, thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And so we're going to just push all of our characters into the grotesques and Here towers. Here they come to save the day. Uh, so just run those grots nice, nice and fast. Uh, these grouts will run too. Um, so the middle of the table is. 24 up from the edge? Yeah, here's the line, middle of this oh, objective. Okay. Like this line here? Yep. So the question is, am I going to hide my grots? Yeah, I'm going to hide them. Run back. Um, so for Reaper, you've got one so far. It's every 10 models. Every 20 models. Every 20 models. So I'm going to have any. 10 boys, and then some boys from there. We'll count at the end. So I don't think the Grots will actually help the Night Reaper, so they're just gonna they'll move up, they're gonna do Grot stuff. You know, maybe kill a rack. See how they do. I think he's gonna max out Reaper regardless of what I do with these Grots, so might as well, you know, make make their points. As Grots always do. So the Vexator's on which guy? Which ones are in? Uh, this this is the homunculus with the Vexator. Okay. Who's the warlord? Uh Archon. Archon's a warlord. Archon bubble wrapped completely by the by ravagers, by ravagers. yeah, <laughs> and a big tower. Yeah, it looks like looks he's like he's standing by the tower like this. He's like ah, this you, crazy you pose. Can't see me. The Egyptian pose that he has. So the question here is, do I want to fly my point in and potentially get charged by Talos, or the Talos gonna have to charge other stuff? Well, I had that hard decision last turn, yeah. right? Like a one wound plane, it took me ages to decide to to kill it. Yeah. I'm glad I did now, but it was, at the time, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So, uh, let's see how far my claw guy can go. So he moves 16, he can auto advance 6. So that gives him a uh, 22. I don't know if he can fit through there. Mm, yeah, his base is too big. Okay. That's fine, he can just go an inch away there. So I think, yeah, we're just going to go balls to the walls over here. Maybe try to pick up the racks with some shooting. Then charge into Talos and stuff, and so the Vexator, I'm just going to pre-measure the six inches from it. It's this guy. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah, as long as I start over here and then pile into the ta uh, grotesques. But he might be able to use on my boys. Mm, not too worried about that. Okay. So how many wounds are left in the Ravagers? Full. Full. Eight. Bracketed. Four. Four? Okay. Fly my plane straight. Um, what? Oh, because you fly the table. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can pivot 90, so I can get yeah. over here. So the question is do I want to put my plane into Urian or the Vexator mask? Um, uh, I think the answer is probably no. I think I just want to put it into Ravagers. So I'll just pivot the plane, fly its minimum. And then we're just going to end up going balls to the walls here. These boys are just going to chill. So they can, uh, actually, no, they'll, they'll go this way. So I'm, I think I'm going to, which are marked for death? The grotesques? Those guys. Those guys? Yeah, you got else? them. What else? Oh, uh, three ravagers. Three ravagers? Okay. So I pretty much need to punch through this wall of flesh and get into the ravagers. So that's going to be a bit of... Well, if you punch pain. this wall of flesh, it's probably lost. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the way, that's the way it goes. Um, Pretty much lost. So, yeah, alright. The boys are going to come over here. Go outside of an inch of these guys. I mean, they can advance too. So they have all the movement they need. Was that a wound on a Talos or anything? No. Okay. Talos haven't been touched yet? 
Talos, full wind Taloses are pretty scary. Alright, um, War Boss and Bike will advance just to make sure. It's going as far. That War Lord's coming in hot. Actually, these tails were strength 9. Whew. Plus oh. 1 from the scalpel, and plus 1 from uh, okay. Urian. Unless they start at 7. This oh, they start at 6. 7, yeah, so they're 8, yeah. I knew I worked it out. So it's six inches from this guy? Yeah. He's there, so if I... Oof, can't really stay out of it. But if you charge, you have to be within an inch. Yeah, but I can go within an inch of these guys. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, he's going to auto-advance to six. market. So he goes 22. Sweet. So I think it's, it's all or nothing here. We'll see how much characters can do. So you're out of six layer? Well, when I charge, I can move in this way. You're in six already. Mm -hmm. Is that six right there? So yeah. it's back to here? There's, okay. there's the edge of the base of the monk of this. So when you're in, so you, you like it's gonna he, be hard he, for he'll, you. He'll be in Vex later. Yeah, he'll get Vex. Okay. So hopefully the claw boss can do enough. So that's fine. He can just be chilling, max range there. Like that. And then we have a little hole for the big mech to roll in. Take this. A whole extra two inches. <laughs> that bike is crazy. Weird boy is going to advance as well. Everybody in. Uh, he moves. Eight. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Alright. Why don't uh, Psychic. So Weird boy gets plus one. Um, do you need that dice? That nope, was on, that was, uh, that was on your own. for the battle wagon. Yeah. So we All right. cast. Fist of Gork onto the war boss. Give him plus two attack, I think. Um, so the decision here is whether I want to Fist of Gork the war boss or the Defco war trike. That's about to get pumped. And I think the plus two attacks with the eight damage claw is going to be better. So Fist of Gork on the war boss. Goes off on an 11. So that's good. It's plus two attack, plus two strength. So he's going to be he's going to be hurting stuff. Um... And I guess let's start shooting. Okay. So we're going to go uh, Dakajet. So there's a four wound Ravager. And what's the other ones? Four, eight left, yeah. full. Full? Okay. We'll go into the four wound Ravager. Okay. Your CP list, right? Yep. Okay. Unless you use a stratagem. Ah. Because I'm labyrinthinely cunning. Ooh. <laughs> Aren't you now? I'm cunning and labyrinthine. <laughs> All right. So we're going into the four wound Ravager. Hopefully... Pick it up with the Dakage yet. Pretty good hit roll. Two more shots. And what's your tough toughness? Six? Six. Looking for fours to win. Come on, Daka. Uh oh. Not the hottest. Only six wounds. Minus one. Five up in bomb. Oh, what's my this is turn three now, right? What's my power from pain? Power from pain. Power from pain this round is uh, add one to hit rolls in the fight phase. Ow. Oh god. <laughs> Ouch. Dark Elder getting stronger. Ouch. Five Mate, ups. Two. So four he dies. Or six up in the pains. No. Oh. Dies. Oh, explode. Hey, we just barely got the Ravager. So the first first win for the orcs. Alright, we're gonna do. Uh, all the Defco War Trike shooting into the grotesques, and what's their toughness now? Six. Uh, these this, these grotesques. Yeah. Yeah. Toughness six. is uh, six. And what's toughness of the Talos? Is eight, seven. Seven. Okay, so we're gonna do the Melta shots into the Talos, and the grotesques are six. Yeah. And boom gun into the grotesques. And Talos are seven. Talos are seven. Yeah. yeah. So these hit on uh, fours now, because I'm within half range. And then there's strength fours, so we got fives, no wounds. Two shots with the Melta. 
one hit, uh, wound on three, one wound on the Talos. Safe. Love it. Um, we'll do all the bike shooting into the grotesques. Actually, you'll do all the bikes into the racks. Those two bikes there. Okay. What's the toughness of the racks? Are they within range of the monsters? No, they're four. Four, so threes. No two wins. No EP. Four up. Feeling pain. One dead. Uh, how many boys there? There's all ten, right? Yep, they're fresh. Fresh. Fresh meat. Fresh and spicy. They're into the racks, sorry. Okay. Put all the shooting into the racks. Try to pick up a few. Surprisingly Fours. hard to kill. <laughs> Four wins on the Rex. Oh, you might be good. Four up. No, you're not. Save them all. Hey, yeah, what do you mean I'm good? <laughs> it's some, some wax stuff. Right? See the end of shooting? Uh, start charging. Okay. So we're going to go. Um, boys into the racks and. Uh, Remember, I have Overwatch the on the Talos. Yeah, the boys will take it. Boys into the Talos and, and racks. the racks? Yep. Come on, boys. Six, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Right. Get some haywire to the face. Two. Okay. Two, four. Strength four, right? Strength four, yeah. Okay, fours. AP. One wound. Minus one, right? Just kill it. Yeah, minus one, yeah. Okay. And they're in. Yep. You just tap them into both. They don't have a lot of space. Yep. Uh, the war boss will just go into the towers. Okay. Uh, big mech will go into the towers too. Okay. And the. Uh, I think you're close enough. Yeah. Okay. This and bike is in the way. Yeah, well, I can move the bike first if you want. Uh, okay. The bike will go into both because I don't think I'll be able to get out of an inch. Alright. Question is Thomas. can I fix it that guy? This guy? Yeah, he'll go into both the. Um, because I, because can I, would I be able to move out of an inch of the towers? I move like there. So well, you're in an inch of the towers right well, now. Well, I mean, with the grotesque, would I be able to stay? Oh no. Combo? So yeah. No, because this guy's blocked you in there. Yeah. So the, he'll charge both. Okay. And vexator. Uh yeah, so he's the only vexator target, so I'll vexator that guy. Great. Go for it. Let's see what you can do. Start swinging for the fences. So we'll start with the main event of the night, the claw boss. Swinging in with brutal but cunning, cunning but brutal, all his nastiness. Fist of Gork, max, max, maxed out. out war boss. So he's strength 14 right now. Strength 14. Six attacks, hit on twos, reroll, wound on twos, reroll. Minus three, four damage. Minus doesn't matter, four damage, it's hardcore. Twos reroll. Looking for that reroll. All wound. So six? Yep. Six four ups. Let's see the Talos involved. Come on, Talos. This is the big money. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Build okay. four. Yep, four damage. So uh, do them um, eight at a time? Seven at a time. Well, eight, oh, yeah, eight at a time. One. Two, three, four. So it's four. Five, six, seven, so eight. Two attacks from the war boss so far. Let's make two. He does. So, so that one Talos did. lives. Yep, with one wound left. Yeah. So and then, then do so four more. He'll eat the next one. Yeah, the next four. Well, it's unlikely he'll survive this, but... Okay. okay. One Talos dies, and then four more on the last Talos. Takes three. All right. The Claw Boss has done his done his greatest, and it's, uh, you know, it's it's okay. He, he does what Claw Bosses do. Kills a Talos. So the, the best orc combat kills a Talos. A Talos and a bit. Talos, Talos and a half. Talos and three wounds. We'll take it. We'll do the big mech next. Three attacks, threes, he's strength five, so fives, up to him, and the boys are going to pile in. How many can I get into the racks? Well, he has to go that way. Yep. But these guys are getting here. I just, I want to make sure the knob's within an inch we can, so like pile that guy that way. And get, just move that guy out so the knob can get within an inch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
five guys and the knob. Into the into the racks, racks and then I guess these. Yeah, this that guy, guy can hit the talus. Okay, it's that guy. So five guys and the knob into the racks and then one into the talus. Start with the one into the talus. No wounds from that boy. And then it's five and the knob. One, two, knob. three, four in the knob. Four in the knob. <coughs> uh, four guys at four attacks each, 16 attacks. No, it's all at the same time, so we'll just roll this. Going for threes. Ooh, not a hot roll. And there's toughness four? Yeah. So fours. Uh oh. Only three wins so far. Okay. And then the knob will be at the same time. But you can just roll those. Okay. Six One seven. failed. Save. Oh my goodness. Ghoul Rex! Threes. And threes. Oh yeah, one! one from the knob. Yes! No racks die! Yeah, racks, racks, fucking awesome! Right, so swing. good. Oh, these two both went? Yep. Okay, so my turn to swing? Okay, yep, so Okay, I'll just do my racks. Yep. Two, two, three on these boys. Yep. Uh, Reroll ones or all hits? Do you remember what I said? I think it's just one. It's plus one to hit. Oh, plus one to hit, so yep. hitting on twos. Yep. Not bad. Alright. Okay, and now I'm not hitting a vehicle. No. Four ups? <laughs> what do I actually do? Uh, poison, yeah, four ups. Yep. AP or not? No AP yet. Okay. Four, three six. Six ups? I might actually kill something. Three boys. Go Rax! Rax actually killed something! But man, they don't die. These motherfuckers. Rax, Rax, Rax be hard to kill. Okay, uh, Talos. Yep, so it's only the claw guy that hasn't swung. Uh, uh, this guy you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Probably be 2 CP if I want to swing with him. And what's his uh, profile? Strength 7, the, minus 2, D3, reroll wounds. Strength 7, minus 2, D3, reroll wounds. 5 attacks. Because I can sh hit with the grotesques too. Right. Before you attack. Right. Get a few grotesques in. And he's got how many wounds on? Uh, six, 7. Because like, I really don't want this claw guy living. Yes. And he, what's his defensive stats? Uh, 4 up. Armor and six, seven wounds. No involve? Nope. Oh, he's, he's pretty toast then. <laughs> he's pretty, he's pretty roasted. And he's your warlord? He is my warlord, yep. He's okay, so one, one tail is on him. Yep. And if I don't kill him, I'll put something else on him. Um, and then this tail uh on this bike thing. Yep. Actually, what I'll do is, um, so one tail on your warlord. Yep. And then one tail on the boys. Okay. Okay, so the guy on your... Okay, so because this Talos is, is in base. Is in... Base it, boys. Yeah. And oh, the boys. inch and inch? Okay. Yeah, and he's within an inch of that guy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll do the guy on the boys first. So yep. chain flails, yep. two hit rolls for every one. Yeah, so ten. So that's uh, ten. And then an extra one. microscopal attack. So... Flesh engines hurt. And I'm hitting on twos. Yeah. Yikes. One miss. Yep. And these are two and three. Okay. Uh, so strength six, and then two plus four. one, seven, so yeah. Yep, three. And I reroll wounds. Okay. Because? Because of chain flails. Chain flails? Reroll okay. failed wound rolls. Dang. Mulching. Of course. All right, here we go. So AP? Uh, no AP. Okay, I'll just release. T-shirts. Nope. Uh, three, six, eight. How many is left? I think just one, eight. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Yeah, they're there. Exactly kills all the boys. Zulu. Okay, and then the one guy on your duder with yep. the macro scalpel. Or should I just do ten attacks? <laughs> just ten toughness attacks. six. Ten attacks probably better. Oh, toughness six? Yep. Well, yeah, I'm strength seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So ten attacks is better. Okay. Is my warrior gonna eat it? Probably. Two ones. Yep. And your threes. Three. I'm strength seven now. Okay. With the flails too. With the plus one from uh, urine. Oh. Okay. And reroll wounds. Yep. All right. AP. No AP. Okay. Four ups. So he has a better save, so he might live. We shall see. Yeah. Only fails four. Yeah. I should have done the other one. 
So give you no save and two damage each. Brings yeah. him down to three wounds. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, okay, I'll do the grots. Seven wounds left on the war trick, and three on my war boss. All right, so that's five grots. Yep. And so I want to use the. Does he have an invul on this guy? Five up invul. Okay, but he's a ve he's a vehicle, right? He is a vehicle, yes. Okay. Anyway, so I'll just do their cleavers. So five attacks each. So that's twenty five attacks. Uh oh. I have twenty four dice of each color, so I'll just steal one red. Yep. Here we go, hitting on twos. Uh oh. Should die here, but let's see. What's your strength? Uh, so I'm strength five plus one from your so strength six. So wound on five. Seven. Mm -hmm. You're saved by your toughness, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe Only not. Only seven wounds left. Maybe though. not actually. AP. Uh, AP minus two. Okay, so five up in balls. Oh. So it looks like uh, six wounds. Yep. Down to one. One damage each. Yeah, one damage each. Yep. He lives with a wound. He lives with a wound. Okay. Ah. You can fight back. Yep, um, so his five attack, what's the toughness of the grotesque right now? Consolidated. Um, six. Toughness six? Mm-hmm. Um, and he's string seven, so yeah, he'll swing at them. Um, get on twos. One miss, and then wound on three as we roll. So three wounds, minus two. Four up. D3. One. Was that grotesques? Yep. Okay, down to one. That's, that's all she wrote. Okay. Uh, my boys? Yeah, your boys. Uh, you want to pass me a tape? Should I just take them off? Sure. I mean, you're probably going to do six damage, right? Yeah, I should. It's unlikely that you wouldn't, so that's fine. Um, they'll just chill. Or actually, no, they're fine three. Come and kill me with your Talos. Uh, uh, uh. What do you think, guys? Boy's going to win versus Talos? I think no. Okay, so that's your turn three. Yep. So did you kill something? Uh, yes, you killed those grotesques just now. Yes. You hold. Yep. And uh, so do you have recon? Yep. Do you still summon it in this uh, corner? Should be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you got recon. Yep. Uh, you killed the Mark Grot unit and a Ravager, so two for that. Yep. Okay, so you got one, two, three, five points. So ten to eight. Let's Midway see. through the game. Turn three. Ten Turbo. to eight. Let's see if the flesh wall can destroy me. This is when this is when Dark Eldar hurt. Now they're all hitting on twos in combat. It's pain. I killed one unit of grotesque though, it's a... Okay, victory. so Reaper I'll eventually get. I need to kill the two trucks. Oh, I, I just need one more mark. I need the boys from Mark for Death. Yep. Then I need... Oh, Warlord. Yep. Okay. War boss. I'll calculate those at the end because I'm probably killing this turn. Yeah, he'll probably just go table me, but we'll see. Okay, so... I'm just going to leave all these guys here. Okay. I don't see much point in moving them. All right. There's one we left on that bike. And this jet is full, right? Yep. All right, see you later, Skyri. Have a good night. Okay, so what I want to do, eventually I got to kill Grotz. 
And in fact, it may do me more points to shoot Grats off these objectives. Might, yeah. Well, you get hold more then, probably. Yeah, because then I'll get hold more, right? And you won't hold. Right. So it's like a two-point swing per Grat unit that I kill. Plus, it adds to my Reaper. Yep. So probably, you know, I should just ignore this jet. You may kill another Ravager, Ravager next turn. Maybe not. Maybe not. Then the turn after they're dead, because the tail is going to kill the jet. So I think probably the smarter thing is just start shooting Grats with Ravagers. Because I'll be able to pick up eight or nine of them, and then they'll die from morale. Yep. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So this guy doesn't even need to move. Let's see if I'm in range. You got me there? Uh, not quite. Just scooting forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I got 36 on there. Yeah. And then this is most likely 36 from here. Yep. Yeah. If we count the shock prow. No, he needs to move up a little bit. Just fine. A little scooch. So this guy has to move at least 20, right? Correct. Okay. So that means the closest he can be to my Archon is there, which put the Ravager closer. So I won't be able to pick him off. Yep. So I'll just leave my Archon there. Okay. Uh, keep the racks on this out. objective. Yep. And we're going to come this way. Uh-oh. Three towels for his boys. Not a fair fight. Do they have 30 attacks? Uh, so we'll figure it out later. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of attacks. I think you pick him up, but I got six CP, so if he doesn't kill every single boy, then they're all coming back. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see. If he picks up the boys, it'll probably be game, but if he doesn't, he might have a fighting chance. We shall see. So these three racks can go kill this weird boy. Because weird assuming boy. I kill these guys, I'll be able to consolidate onto this objective here. Is that a risky move? Otherwise the weird boy comes, kills these racks who smite. Okay. Come at me, brave weird boy. Well, I can move... Uh, can just move your in and I'm gonna close over here. Six advance. Six advance on Urian. Take him over here. And the homunculus. Seven advance. Take him over here. Okay, uh, so I think that's my movement. So okay. I'm gonna do some shooting. Shooting. So uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. these guys are all characters, right? Keepers. So actually, Urian, uh, oh, he just doesn't have his gun anymore, but the other guy can shoot your weird boy. Okay. Because they're all characters, right? Yeah, well, the Dakajet would be closer, I think. Oh, yeah, the Dakajet, sorry. Again, ignoring it is right in front of me. Okay, he's gonna shoot the Dakajet. Here he goes. Uh oh. Pistol one. Hits on the six. Uh -oh, I need six to wound. No. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is shoot those Talos at the boys. Yep. 63. Ooh. That's nine. And six. So 15. Ooh. Nine, 12, 15. Force. Minus one AP? Uh, yeah, string four. So just two. Okay, two boys. Okay, uh, next I'm going to shoot the Ravagers. So this Ravager is going to shoot that unit of Grotz on that objective over there. Yep. And this guy is full. I don't think I've yeah. any bracket. Because I killed the one that four. Uh, that guy's got eight wounds. Yeah, I killed the one that was bracket. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so uh, hitting on threes, re-rolling. One. Five ones. Ooh. Archon contained for himself already. All right, and toughness two, right? Yeah, bird. So two's re-rolling ones. Oh, that's another one. Oh, one's into ones. 
Six? All right. AP? Yeah. AP good? Yeah. So it's five dead. Five? Yeah. Okay. Five minute grunts. And second Ravager in. One, two, three, four. One, two, Those guys. Okay. Come on, threes. Five misses. Twos, re rolling. All right. That's uh, seven dead grunts. Okay. Down three. Should have failed him around, but you know. You never know. You never know. That, those guys might not. No. The other guys probably Okay. Uh, okay. Charges. So these guys going in. Okay. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I killed two, I think. 20, 20, 20, oh, no. I killed some from before. Yeah. 24. So uh, shoot um, 46 shots plus the blasty charge. Let's see, can we get a single wound on a Talos? The real question of the hour. Your is not very good in combat, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to do very much. Yeah, 11. 11 hits so not, far. These are not beats to characters. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're there ain't no <laughs> smash captains. <laughs> <laughs> we need to use some smash captains. And on toughness seven, right? So fives? Toughness six, because they're not in. Uh, okay, so fives. Yeah, doesn't matter, yeah. Four wins. Oh! RP. Ooh, so it does two. Got two wounds. It was worth it. And the blasting charge, D3. Three. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 One additional shot. Nope. Three. Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, these racks are in charge of Weird Boy. Yep. Okay. Over on. Okay. Boom. Uh, you're in, and the homologous are not charging. Okay. And that's it. All right. So you do have CP, right? I have six CP left. Okay. So at the beginning of the combat fight phase. If a unit within three inches of urine on a six, it suffers a mortal wound. So mm -hmm. I'll pick your claw boss, okay. dude. No. Okay. And then okay. I'll vexator um, the claw boss. Okay. So I can't interrupt with the claw boss? Yeah. So you have to go last. Okay. So uh, charges then. Yeah. I'm going to, well, do these guys first, I guess. Okay. Can the towels kill all the boys? Question we'll see. Hour. Okay. So chain flails, so yeah. 10 attacks, and then they get the macro scalpel. So 30 attacks. So 33 for the scalpel? Uh, yeah, okay. but the, the scalpel ones are different. But. Uh, so that's Heading 24 dice, 24 dice, 30 dice. Yeah. Heading on twos. And threes with reroll on the wound. That's mm -hmm. not good. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. String six, so threes with three rolls. Yep. I think towels pick up boys pretty easy. Let's see. An AP minus one or not? No AP, no. Okay. Maybe make some t shirts? Yeah. Show me some six ups. Ouch. Three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen boys. That's not all though, I don't think, is oh. it? Uh, and three macro scalpels. Twos, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Okay, well, that failed. I don't actually know if I could have. Mathematically, I don't think it was in my favor to kill them all. A full yeah, I unit. I, I will probably need to save all my CP now to bring them back at 30, but. Okay, uh, the racks, I guess. Sure. Oh, I can interrupt now. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so the question is, do I want to interrupt? My claw boss is swinging west, so his best bet is probably to swing on death. And west, I want to auto pass here. So, our 30 boy is going to swing this game. Um, yeah, we'll Just do your attacks. I'm not going to interrupt. Uh, the racks. Well, you can still interrupt after the racks. Down on twos. Toughness four. Down on three. 
AP? No AP, poison. Okay, uh, I think I just had a six up on the weird boy. Weird boy armor, go! Six ups. Saves one, so it takes two, down okay. two. Still spine good at that. <laughs> go, okay. Boy, go. Would you like to interrupt? Nope. Okay. So I get to ping a unit first. So this guy. So you can spend CP to make him swing on death. On but death. if you yeah. do that, you can't bring the boys back. If I can't, if I do that, I can't auto pass my own boys. So oh, so then, then you wouldn't be able to bring them back. Yeah. Yeah. How many CP you got left? Six. Six. If I had just one more CP. It's always just one more. Oh, because you auto pass. For oh, because there's three to swing them again. No, it's two to swing them. Two again. and then auto two. Auto pass for two and three to bring them back. Uh, so three. Oh, tide of traders is three. Yeah. Sorry, not tide of traders. So. The green tide of traders. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I gotta kill him eventually. So, yep. uh, so I'm gonna put uh, another Talos on him. Yep. And then one Talos on this other um, dude with the holding the bike. Okay. Uh, and he has no invuln, right? No. Nope. The claw boss. No, sir. Okay, so, and so he's just on a s six up save? Four up armor. No, four up armor. Yeah. Three wounds left. I made this mistake last time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Profile. So, yeah. So five attacks and then s extra one. Yeah. Twos. Yeah, hitting on twos. Yep. Threes. These are AP minus two, right? Uh, so, strength, so I'm strength eight, actually. Okay. So, so yeah, still threes. threes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, minus two. Okay. Six ups. Right, so six, 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 six damage, yeah. And I think I need to save CP for the boys. Okay. And then, so the second guy on this dude? Yep. Uh, does he have an involve on this other biker? No. Uh, so I'll still do the same thing. Six okay. attacks. Threes. Oh. No. Six ups. Alright, four damage. Four? Okay. Uh, I think he's still alive. Maybe. Yep, one wound left. Ugh. Painful. Okay. Uh, okay, you interrupt me or should I do no, my grots? I'll just pull them off. Oh, you're gonna got one left, right? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful model beautiful first. Beautiful model die. And then the not so beautiful base, but it's coming. It's <laughs> big game. Alright, uh, big next attack with uh... Talos? Yep. Because he's the only one in combat, right? Yeah. Two, five, one wound. Safe. Nice. And the boys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven attacks with two each. So that's 14. Fives. So one. One? Yep, two in the dog. Save. One. Save. Okay. Okay, so leadership on the Grotz. So these guys lost uh, seven. Yep. And their leadership is really low. <laughs> Four. Probably. Yeah, they'll die. Uh, these guys, one, two. Uh, so they lost five. And five to seven. Uh, leadership four, so that's six. Three more. So yeah, two more. And three. You guys die. And you're gonna pass those guys, I guess. Yep. Auto pass. Four. Okay. So yeah, where, where are we sitting with points? Pretty sure we can almost call it. But. Okay. Well, let's see how much I got this turn. So I got uh, kill. Yep. Hold. Max Kingslayer. Uh, my Max Kingslayer. Uh, I got a bunch more. of Reaper. I killed more. Do I hold more? Uh, I hold one. You hold two. Oh, you or hold your racks not on it. No, your racks aren't on it. So no. You tie hold. Oh well, I forgot the pile. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, no. Oh. I urine's on it, so it's yeah, it's but tied. Big Mac, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so tie hold. Yeah, tie hold because the three. Girls so have. one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. I got seven points this turn. Okay. What are you up to? I, I think you're really ahead, but let's see. maybe do one more turn, maybe. And I didn't kill the boys yet. No, and they're coming back at 30, so you won't get that. Well, we won't get it until next week. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. So I'm on 15. To what? 15 to 10. Oh, we're only down five? Yeah, we're only down five. Okay. Top of four. Yep. 
All right, all right. Let's see what happens. Throw some dice around. Rods are running. Oh, I can try and get some CB back for your uh, password. Yep. No. Okay. <laughs> so what what points do I have left to score? I have to get last blood. So recon. Last, Last bread, line breaker, slay the yeah. warlord, and uh, two ravagers. Okay, so I just tied it. But you still have your jet. Yeah, yeah, and I got 30 boys. Uh, so, let's see. What's nine looking like from here? So, do I measure from the model or from the base? Uh, for the skimmers, it's from the model. From the model, so nine would be there. So, I won't be able to fit 30 boys there. So I gotta bring 30 boys in there. <laughs> yeah. So Gets you a line breaker. Coming over here. Oh yeah. I think they're just gonna die to Talos. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think we can just call it if you want or do you want to roll it? It's up to you. You wanna just call it? Um, if you put them there, they're gonna die next turn to Talos. Yeah, and if I put them over there they don't do anything. Yeah. Well they get your line breaker and that's it. Right. And then also this turn the point of maybe you kill maybe one Ravager. Energy. Yeah. Get one more point from Mark for Death. I hold unobjective. Yeah, at the end of my turn, those grots will be gone. Yeah. Um, those grots will be gone. This be gone. Yeah. So I, I think it's, you'll end up losing. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can call it. Okay. GG. Good game, man. Whew. Good game. So what do you think? Uh, I think I should use the stratagem for minus one hit on the bikes. Um, and that would have mitigated a lot of the Ravagers. Because so your bikes didn't end up doing anything. anything. No. Yeah. So I should have either engaged harder with the bikes or blow the CP? Well, I think, so initially you went like this. Your plan right. was to like swoop in, yeah, but it took you too long to do that. Yeah. You know, uh, I think these guys did bog you down Pretty hard. for a while because you ended up charging them with the bikes. Yeah. Um, I, I, was gonna, I was thinking of like just pushing the bikes in and going for yeah. it, but I don't know. I yeah. just got mulched too. I didn't really have room to get in where I wanted because that big piece of terrain. So I wanted to like get all my characters in there and push, but I should have maybe just pushed more aggressively with the bikes into the flash and just started hitting. But yeah, like um, I think Drukari are a, a counter for Oryx. Oh yeah, I think I think this is my hardest matchup for sure. So um, I mean, they're a counter for a lot of people, but yeah. specifically for Oryx because of the threat of Vect. Yeah. And you know, even without Vect, you know, it, it's just so hard to kill Talos and Grotesques. Yeah, it's just like, really I hard. One unit of Grotesques. Yeah. And, and one Talos. And one Talos. And, that that, was a, and, one, and one other Grotesque, and that's it. And that was a, a great a victory Ravager. for the Orcs. Yeah, you didn't even kill this unit of um, racks. Like, those no. uh, I mean, I rolled, racks hot. I rolled hot on those racks, but... It's, you, you do that sometimes. But that tends to happen with racks, I find. It's four-up like, involves. They, they just you survive. Make all the four-ups or none? Yeah, it's kind of like my custodies. Yeah. Um, that's why four-up I like these like. jets a lot. Yeah, I like them. I don't know. I don't know if I should have played them different, but I think I... I don't know. I was thinking of just like flying them way over here and then starting to turn them in later. But I wanted to try to pick off some Ravagers, but turn one, they just kind of whiffed. Yeah. Like if I would have bracketed a Ravager, maybe it would have been in a better spot, turn one. And then yeah. Picked it up, turn two. Yeah, I, I, at first I debated the CP, uh, the cover stratagem, but yeah. then I thought if these guys are minus one, I yeah. could save us, like, and then I spent the cover, um, the minus one to hit. So I just really didn't want a Ravager dying first turn. Yeah, yeah, um, you committed quite a bit of resources to save them. So. Yeah, um, I decided right from the beginning, after learning about your army and what it could do, that it wasn't going to vect anything. Yeah. So because there's nothing you really need to. Yeah, so I just double move on the bikes maybe, but yeah. So I just right. freely spent my CP on other stuff. Yeah. Um, so I think it's important. You have to decide at the beginning if you're going to vect something, because then you four. have to remember to save the CP. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I just decided there wasn't anything that I wanted to vect, and that CPU would be more useful. On other stuff? Yeah, like the reroll wound there was great. Yeah, it was huge. Um, That's why you picked up the battle wagons. Yeah. I mean, the battle wagons whiff pretty hard. I rolled like four wounds. They, they whiff pretty hard. That happens. Yeah. You know, there's ways to mitigate that, but it just dies at the end of the day. So. Yeah. yeah. The battle wagons should have done a little more, but even with that, I mean, kill a couple more models over there, and I'm still in the same spot pretty much. So I don't know if I could have played that any differently. I, I don't know, try to focus it on the one unit. Yeah. Just kind of whiffed. So. Do you think you picked the right secondaries? I don't know. I have no idea what else you'd pick versus this army. Like, what would you pick? Yeah. I, I really don't like old school. Yeah. You're not going to kill one of my things first turn. I don't know. I think two jets. 
If you didn't use the minus, if you didn't use the cover and the minus one hit. Yeah, I know, but then I just do that, then I deny you a point. Sure. Right. Or um, I could, I should have picked up those racks too. I think. True. Those racks lasted for a while. Yeah. So I think I. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I think know. I should have picked up something turn one because I knew I was going to be able to turn one charge over there. Yeah, it's hard. Like you're not going to pick butchers. And you're not going to kill like two units a turn. No. Recon, you definitely should have picked. I think that was a good choice. That's the only thing I can really get. Yeah. Um, and then mark for death. It's like sure, I'll pick up another ravager or two, but you know. The like Talos and Grotesque are sorry to kill. Like yeah. the only other stuff you can pick is the um, big game. And then it's like I don't know. I don't know what else you pick first. You. Well, you it's only, like you only have three characters, so I can only get three for Headhunter. Yeah. And they're hard to kill because they'll just be hiding and stuff. Yeah, you probably picked what you could pick. Then, so. Yeah, it's really hard to pick secondary in Burst Recovery. I feel. I don't know if, if you guys think I should have picked different secondaries in the chat. Let us know. Definitely, definitely a learning experience. It's my first time playing against your card with the orcs, so. Just trying stuff out. I don't think I'm going to change anything with the list. Um, I might just you play like more the, aggressively You, you with like the, the big biker unit? I don't know. The three wounds a piece is kind of sweet. And I mean, versus a lot of other armies, their shooting is actually effective. And so, you know, you pick up a screen with their shooting. and then Strength five. Six shots each. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's they like know. fire warriors. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so the thing with them is I might swap the knob bikers out for just normal war bikers. And then they have two wounds each. I can get like 12 war bikers instead. And then if I want to just be like move, shoot, moving with them, yeah. be a lot better. That's Do you think you need more boys? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't like playing more boys in a tournament because it's really hard to stay in time. I time. With boys. Yeah. yeah. But I might up it to one more unit 30. Or I might just run what it is, you know, at the end of the day. Run what, run what feels good. But I don't know. I, I, really, I like playing bikes, so I want to play. At least one unit of bikes. I do too. I mean, I have a whole freaking army of bikes. It just crap. It's just too expensive for what they do at the end of the day. Yeah. I would so love to play a bike army because it looks freaking awesome on the it table. It does. I mean, hey, custodians are sweet. Yeah. But they're, they're, they're kind of not like bikes, but yeah. Um, Bear is you know. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, thanks everybody if you're still on stream. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow awesome. night, nine o'clock, we're doing a recap of Charity Hammer here live with Jim Wiesel and Alex McDougall, the Canadians who repped us. Um, <laughs> and uh, so please join us for that if you feel so inclined. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See you guys. Thank you, sir.